Welcome to my welcome to my filthy fucking house. <laughs> welcome welcome to my disgusting disgusting dirty house. <laughs> I made it worse. <laughs> oh, whoopsie, that shouldn't be out yet. Not that. Not that. C go away, Cthulhu. You're not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm hitting the wrong thing. Where's my numlock? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I made, a, like I said, I made everything look worse. <laughs> Damn me, I live like this. <laughs> uh, so welcome to the stream um i have been <laughs> wow you found the tentacle right away <laughs> i i knocked out some redeems i've i'm gonna add some other ones i unfortunately knocked out cool rocks but uh i added knife wielding tentacle <laughs> because i thought it would be funny i'm gonna be lurking because arton you have a good art May your art be be good and true. So yeah. Oh, hold on. I see posture. Let me adjust. I will adjust myself accordingly. Uh, I see. Bring out slimes. Where Where are my slimes at? Or where, where'd y'all go? Where are my slimes? There they are. Oh, there's the little guys. There's my little boys. There's my little. There's my little guys. Wait a minute. I gotta remember. I gotta remember what I have all of my faces preset to now. <laughs> oh, I see a stretch too. Hold on, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. I'm dodging. Oh, I'm. Hold on. I'm I gotta dodge the tentacle. I gotta dodge. I gotta dodge the tentacle. Uh, fuck. Wait. I can do it. Fuck. I can't. <laughs> I'm just getting stabbed. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by the one knife wielding tentacle. Why would you unleash this? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you unleash the knife? The knife wielding tentacle upon my person? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> oh, good thing you're a slime and heal fast. This is true. This is very true. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So I've spent the last couple of days remodeling things. Uh, because I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to. Um, let's see, where's my, where's my knife that I can use for pointing? <laughs> oh, I can get into a knife fight with the tentacle now. <laughs> okay, so, um, probably as you've all noticed, uh, my new, my new house has a bit of a tentacle problem and it's got a little bit of an attitude. It's a little aggressive. It's it's a little aggressive, um, but but you know it's it's fine, it's fine. It's it's no threat to me, and you're out of its reach, so you're okay. Uh, also, I said it before, but I love the callbacks on the chat screen. Yeah, I was I was really I was really into that. <laughs> I see no aggression, only love. Uh, how are you doing? How are you doing today, Dunwich? Oh, homie. Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. I feel like fucking trash. I was awake until 3 a.m. putting this together. <laughs> I've spent two days work. I've spent two days working on all this, like, like kind of straight. And then last night I didn't want to go to bed right away, and so I was like, I'm gonna stay up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay awake until 3 a.m. putting all this shit together. I'm very tired. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little fried. That's why we're doing, uh, that's why we're doing, that's why we're doing a Lovecraft. That's why we're doing a Lovecraft stream. It's cause we're going to, we're going to take it pretty easy today. I think. Beep. Shrink myself back down. Uh, so as you, as you all probably noticed at this point, the TVs, I'm really happy with how these came out. Uh, so yeah, as, uh, as Natalie pointed it out, uh, on, on each screen, right? So let's, let's head back. So the starting soon that has its own little individual 
a callback to a previous set. This one has a callback to the very first set that we ever had, which was the 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 isopod in the sunken ship. So that has its own special thing. Um and then this one has the 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 remodel of the sunken ship where it was a mansion. Uh and now Lucas is stuck with no power till probably so- oh god, I I was reading about that on the Discord, Lucas. I'm so sorry. I know they I from what I understand uh they lost power whoops wrong face they lost they lost they lost power and their phone battery died and so they're just completely incommunicable at this there's like no way to reach them at this current point in time until they get power back in the area uh spooky spooky it is spooky it is too early to be starting this Meow. 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 You were literally sit. You were literally sitting over here. You were over here. You were you were on the blanket. You were having a time, and then you just decided to get up of your own accord. And now you're mad about it. Meow. Come here. Just come here, you little wiener. Here, I'll I'll lean back and I'll pet you. Cat chose violence again. The cat always chooses violence. The cat chooses to run around and have zoomies immediately upon any of us wanting to do anything <laughs> that requires our voice. Uh, but anyway, so where was I? Uh, what was I? What was I thinking about? What was I thinking about? Oh yeah, so uh, I'll go through the emotions on the model real quick. So we've got we've got our normal, we've got our kind of like smug, <laughs> we've got our smug face. Uh, I've got a little bit more of an angry, pissed off face. It's the <laughs> It's the only other one that has like two eyes available. Uh, 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 I'm d oh, I'm dying of cringe. Oh, the cringe. Oh, I'm dying of it. I'm I'm dying of cringe. Oh, I'm dying. We have the cringe. <laughs> hello, hello, Seti. Welcome in. Um, <laughs> so Seti, <laughs> the knife wielding tentacle, as you can see, is still here. <laughs> I I suppose I could add another one. <laughs> I could just add another. Hold on. <laughs> Dueling tentacles. I thought it was one of the toggle on and off. No, it's going to hang out for like two minutes. But because you redeemed it twice... I'm just going to put on another one. <laughs> there's two now. Oh, oh God, no. Now there's two. How am I going to fight? How am I going to fight my way through this? <laughs> I wasn't expect. Wait, I need, <laughs> I need heavier ordinance for this. Oh God. And here's the, so the, the gun the gun face looks so much more threatening now. <laughs> I'm just like, give me all the head pats you have. Hand them over. Done which may, done which may cry. That's just me every day, baby. I always be, <laughs> I'm always a drop of a hat away from it. Okay. I'm going to, I'm turning off the other, I'm turning off the other tentacle. Now that the other one's gone. But I will leave it. <laughs> it's still really funny. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think about the idea of like multiple <laughs> knife wielding tentacles. But yes, I have. I have the gun. I have. I have my pew. I have my. I have. I have my 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 pew pew gun ready to go. Uh, <laughs> Dunhammer, you know these spam emotes. <laughs> That's okay. So the other thing is, um, I'm pretty sure I've unlocked, um, I'm pretty sure I've unlocked more emote slots by this point. I haven't checked, but I think I, I think I probably have more. So I'm probably going to redo the emotes as well, but those take a fucking shit zillion years to get approved. So I'm not going to worry about it right away. Uh, I'll just, I'll get to it when I get to it. For now, I'm still cool with the emotes that we have 
it's literally it's it's literally just me without a hat <laughs> there's nothing special under this hat it's just it's just me <laughs> so it's fine it still counts but yeah i'm glad y'all like it um probably the biggest probably the biggest thing and this was the kind of the pain in the ass right <laughs> there is something special under the hat is me it's me i'm the one who's i'm the special thing under the hat uh so you'll probably notice uh where's my knife i need my pointer you're special under the hat i am special under the hat i love you chat um so i i disabled cool rocks but i put some i put some some i i put some pet rocks up here <laughs> just for just for giggles uh i i'm not against bringing back cool rocks in the future i just want like a, a more fun way to do it um the the books now have like different colors and individual spines that's that's something that wasn't present in the other set the other set had them all as like one color so is this is this part of is this part of the cryptid crush universe no it's not but i will admit i did a hundred percent like borrow this character design element from one of the cryptid crush characters just because i really liked this hat and single eye look i really liked it uh and this is hey this is a good enough time to show you this screen this is the new this is the new um and I'll have this up and I'll talk about it in a minute. But this is the new uh, show screen. This is the new like screen share. I flipped it to the other side so that my character would be facing the right way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this um Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure the DVD player is totally fine and not haunted. I I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I, I don't think there's anything living with living in it. It's totally cool. There's no problems. Uh, if there's ever a time where we're switching back and forth from a game, and you know how like it takes a second for the game to like show up on the on the screen, there there might be something lurking behind. <laughs> there might be something behind here. Is it the protodermis? <laughs> it is not the protodermis. Uh, here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disable this real quick. Boogity 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 boo. There's a scary little, there's a, there's something spooky. There's something spooky on the other side of the screen. <laughs> Don't get scared. Or maybe be more scared. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so I was, I've been wanting... I don't know. I've just been wanting to redesign the character for a little bit and give them a little bit more personality. Um, and I was like, oh, I really like the way this looks. And so I based it off of... Uh, <laughs> Madhouse Mike! Oh my god, my neighbor is going fucking nuts with the drum machine all of a sudden. Can I just find the... Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want that. Can I just see the character? There we go. I really... I really just liked the... I liked the hat. And the horn. Like, I, I just... I loved this. I liked this. I liked everything about this design. And I was like, you know what? I can roll with that. <laughs> I want to I want to take the hat idea and roll with it. Oh my god, my neighbor is Oh god, my neighbor is going so fucking ham. Can y'all hear that? Can you hear the the drum machine the drum machine neighbor just going off? Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. <laughs> I hear a drumming. Ugh. Yeah, we might just we might just have to put up with that because there's not much I can do about it. I can't hear shit. It's it, thankfully it seems like it's very faint. Some of you might hear it, some of you not. If I really turn up the volume, yeah, then I think we'll be okay. But man, I'm I'm like I can like feel that shit in my feet. 
Like, I can't tell if that's coming from, like, a downstairs or a cross neighbor or, like, the other side of the wall. But they've been going off, like, about this time of day, like, every day. <laughs> and it is... It's very annoying when you just want some peace and quiet and you're just hearing... <laughs> That's my impression of a drum. That's what a drum sounds like. Uh, so there is one other thing that I altered. And uh, someone... Uh, someone... So, okay. Someone, like, unfollow and then refollow real quick. Someone, someone just, like, do that real briefly. Do it now. <laughs> do it. There we go. So now, every time, uh, every time there's, like, an alert, the, the creature under the bed will announce it. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So yeah, so now there's so there's a there's a there's a creature, there's a creature under the bed, that will announce uh, that will announce stuff. Now the the only bummer of it is that I kind of didn't think about this when I made this screen, so there's nowhere for it to technically come out, uh, but it's still gonna be it's still gonna show up there. I'm I might make like a set of individual like mini animations to put on this screen that'll make more sense have it pop out of the dvd player see yeah exactly it's just that like when i was setting all this up last night like it was it was getting late by the time i was like putting all this stuff together so i was like eh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll worry about it later sleep witch yes exactly <laughs> snoozy Snoozy, snoozy, schnork, me, 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 witch. Me, me when I, me when I, when I tuck myself in and I'm like, me, 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 so I think that's pretty much all the, I think that's pretty much all the, um, sneer yourself to sleep. I just go to sleep naturally this angry. <laughs> Go to sleep this fucking mad. Uh, these new expressions are really good. Thank you. What the hell is that? Poyo! 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 I forgot I added that. Poyo! 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 Did I fucking stutter? I said, boy, not <laughs> Boyo! I'm so glad I f I'm so glad that's still there. I completely for I forget about my like bit sound alerts all the time. <laughs> I forget that those are there. Is there a button to to make it play the Meta Knight riff? I bet there is, but I do not have it immediately. <laughs> but I bet there is one. Or is or wait, or is there? I don't know. I looked through the Kirby tag on sound alerts, and I I don't remember seeing something like that. Whatever. Anyway, so that's so that's the whole shebang. That's that's pretty much all the new stuff. The there's some redeems that are still here. Buff and dinosaur are still here. Bring out the slimes is still here. Um, pff, my cat is still here, obviously. Uh, dramatic dramatic song lyric reading. This is still here too. Oh, we we're speaking of. Hey, can we do dramatic song, uh, song lyric readings? Because I want to make you read the lyrics to Rise from Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let me get let me get out the spotlight, and uh, let me turn the jazz back on. Come on. Come on, Jazz. There we go. Okay, so... Uh... Vambuzi... Which one is it? 
Final Fantasy, yeah, Final Fantasy 14. Final Fantasy 14 Rise. Rise lyrics, here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I've been taken, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, okay, I see where this is, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, <clears throat> all right, let's go. All right, we're doing it. Oh my God, my fucking, my fucking drummer ass neighbor, holy shit. Sonic Boom rings loud from the engines. Ironclad murder gonna eliminate the distance. Ain't no landers gonna take us, no. Cold Dustin, the flustered, is super cali... Fragilistic calidocious? The lyrics just put question marks on this word. Cold Dustin, the flustered, is super calitagious. Slow down. Stop. Taking no hits. Sacceleratin' past us, blast us, fit to transmit, son. Son to the father, to the maker's own way. There's a method to the metal, on the metal highway, yo. Keeping up the pace, what? Keeping with the quickness. Keep the lightning bottled, throttled, throttle to the finish. Keeping up the pace, what? Keeping with the quickness. Keep the lightning bottled, throttled, throttle to the finish. Moving, soothing, got nothing to prove, and pushing all your buttons with a button pushing blue hand. Blue blazes, blue faces, blue blood, blue truth gonna see you black and blue. Right. Keeping up the pace, what? Cruising with the quickness. Keep the lightning bottled, throttled, throttle to the finish. Keeping up the pace. What? Cruising with the thickness. With the thickness. With the quickness. Keep the lightning bottled, throttled, throttle to the finish. 30,000 goblins gonna solve the goblins' problems because the problems of the goblins going rot until they solve them. Yeah, 30,000 goblins gonna solve the goblins' problems with a splodin', smashin', bashin', whackin', crackin', smackin' kind of chaos. A to the L to the E X Ander Gobby's gonna rise up, boom and thunder. Rise up and raise the iron roof off. Now rise up and riot till the bomb drops. Now rise up, the time is right to sound off. So, rise with me. Rise with me. Rise with me. Rise up. Rise with me. Rise with me. Rise with me. Rise up. Rise with me. Rise with me. Rise with me. Rise with, and dare I say it, with me. <laughs> All right, there we go. That was funny. <laughs> Fart. Did the fart play? Did y'all hear the fart? I didn't hear the fart, but I, I think it's just because I had my volume turned down. There we go. I heard the fart. Okay, good. Look, I'm just, I just need, I just need to be sure that everybody heard the fart. <laughs> I need, to, I need to make sure. I need to know. Did you hear it? Did, did you hear it? Did, did you hear it? Did you hear the fart? You have to tell me if you heard it. Did you fucking hear it? No, it's 
I'm glad to, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that made you happy, Seti. <laughs> oh, I need to, um, we got with the, I need to, I need to, you know, what occurs to me, I should, whoopsie, I gotta remember where all my faces are. It occurs to me that I should probably, in the future, just in case, I should probably add like a, like a, like a TOS or something to my song reading, uh, routine to just for the sake of making sure that like nobody tries to redeem anything like sketchy. Cause like we had, we had, we had an almost close call the other day. I like, I caught it, but I was like, Oh, this, this song has some words in it that shouldn't be said on stream. Uh, it was no fault. Like it was no fault of like the submitter. They didn't know, but I was like, Hmm, I should screen some of these for God. I forgot that word was there. I apologized. Yes, you did. And I appreciate it. I know you didn't mean it. I know you didn't mean, mean to send me a song that had, that had a uh, foul a f language, most fouler than what we are accustomed to here. So like I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't have to apologize again. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm, I'm rede I'm redeeming stretch for myself. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm redeeming. I'm re I'm redeeming being a sleepy little guy for myself. <laughs> I'm redeeming sleepy, sleepy them. Mm. <sighs> All right. So last time, last time we visited our. What the hell was that? Never mind. Sorry. I thought I heard like I thought I heard a noise like in my apartment, and then I remembered it's probably my chair. My chair is very squeaky. Or squeaky chair ASMR. I'm squeaking. Okay, I probably shouldn't do that anymore. I have. I have an irrational fear that one day my chair is going to explode and it's going to shoot the 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 hide the hydraulic systems straight up through my butt into my body because that's a thing that happens sometimes to people. <laughs> ASMR, you thought you were haunted, but you have a cat. <laughs> it's part of the reason why like I don't th I don't think I'd ever want to not have a cat. Because if I woke up in the middle of the night, because like at the, at the current point in time, I wake up in the middle of the night and hear something rattling around. And I'm like, oh, that's just my cat. But if I wake up in the middle of the night and I don't own a cat, then it's like. <laughs> Satan, is that you? <laughs> Satan, that you? <laughs> cat owners are always haunted by their cat. This is true. This is this is just how it works. You take a cat into a home and like you have made a pact with a minor demon. <laughs> uh. mm. Okay, so <laughs> I have neighbors, so <laughs> this is true. This is the other thing. If you live in an apartment, then cuz if like if I was living if I was living out in the backwoods and like no one was around and I heard that drumming noise coming from the other apartment, <laughs> that would also be a very like I am scared. <laughs> <laughs> I am very frightened now. Also, I have a white noise machine to drown out rando noises while I sleep, as do I. Well, rather, I use an app on my phone that plays various, like, like, remix, like, rain noises. Like, I have one that's, like, just, like, uh, cicadas and fire. Uh, there's one that's just, like, the sound of a washer and dryer. <laughs> just, like, other little white noise stuff. Oh, okay. So... Uh, I need a white noise machine that plays break chord with military barks and distant gunfire. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, last time last time we did a Lovecraft stream, uh, it was probably like I think it was months ago. It was like a long while back. It was like last. It was like earlier last year, I think. Last time we did this. Uh, but I do know that when we were reading this particular uh, older volume of, of this older tome of lore, uh, we had left off on the the titular Color Out of Space. The next uh, the next story in the sequence is the music of Eric Zahn. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do that. We'll see what comes after. 
I don't remember how long that story is. I just know that like I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired today. So uh so that's why I wanted to read something just kind of like chill and easy. I oh my god, after after the last Warrior Cat stream, I my my voice was like fucked. <laughs> I was so exhausted after flipping around so many fucking voices. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was uncomfortable. Uh, so I'm waiting until I, I feel like a really, until I feel powerful enough to do that one again. Uh, Dunny needs to do vocal warm ups and have soothing tea. Yeah, that's true. I do need to do these things. Typically, <laughs> to, <laughs> I some, I usually try and remember to do at least do vocal warm ups before stream. I'll just be like, blah, 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 Fuck, that, that gave me, that gave me a headache. <laughs> Why did I do that? Ugh. Okay, so anyway. Oh, drumming neighbor. Oh, I wish you to become the best drummer of all, of all time, but I wish you'd do it somewhere else. Bad. Don't shake your head like that. Yeah, for point. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why am, I Why am I apologizing to you? I need to apologize to me. Ugh. Uh, so, um, do we need, don't want any, don't want any background noise to this. Don't want to add like rain. Don't want to add rain noise or something for atmos for atmosphere. God, the I know I keep talking about it, but like that drum noise is going to drive me nuts. I hate the drum noise. I hate the drum noise. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, ambient, ambient noise. Where is my bingo? Okay. Just turn on <laughs> turn on the DMCA speed run on in the background. <laughs> I play one song. So, uh, tell me, can you guys, can you guys hear the, um, can you guys hear, uh, can you guys hear, like, rain or any, like, ambience in the background, or is it too light? Tell me now. DMCA speedrun is my friend's breakcore stream. <laughs> it's below my hearing thresh cord. <laughs> Thre behold below my hearing thresh cord thresh cord what what word was my brain trying to put together there i know i was reading the word thresh what the god damn this is a bad this, this is a great sign i can't even read chat how am i gonna read one of the stuffiest men in existence you don't hear ambience how about now I don't want it to drown me out too much, but I, I've been told a few times that uh, that maybe the stream could use just a little bit of background ambience at times, like some music or some sound effects. So I'm pondering if we want to try it, though. I've also had I've also had you guys tell me that it's a little distracting as well. So I don't know. I'm never 100 percent sure if I want to have background noise or not. Or just vibe with the silence. <laughs> just play free, uh, just play free piano NPR stuff. Well, that's not a bad idea. I like a little background noise. Okay. Uh, I can hear it clearly and you're still super clear. Ye okay. Let's, let's roll with some, let's roll with some background ambience for now. 
and uh yeah i'll have to i'll experiment with some other like music and stuff spooky can i help you spooky hop up come up here i'll pet you a little bit i'll pet your i'll pet your stupid ass i'm used to radio plays no ambience unless it's plot relevant uh but i would also like it if the outside window matched a bit yeah see i was thinking about that I was thinking, cause like we're looking at we're looking at like uh, the the wintry wonderland, and I've also got like Victorian ambience playing in the background. Um, you know what? No, fuck it, fuck it. You guys don't get jack shit. I'm not giving you any noise. Make up your own noise in your brain. I find it distracting. <laughs> Imagine your own noises. <laughs> oh god, I am I'm I am I am <laughs> I'm I'm a mess. <laughs> I am ba I'm barely here today. Oh, where's the window button? Oh wait, you know what? Well, it's going to ruin the redeem if I do that. Cuz I could put Cthulhu there. <laughs> I do have Kafufu. Um, oh wait, you know what? What if I? What if we do this? What if I type in Victorian Gothic, and I get nothing but uh, Gothic women? No, uh, I want Gothic architecture. I don't know if I spelled that right. Oh my god, I hate the, I hate I hate I hate the drummer neighbor. I hate the drummer neighbor. I hate drums. I hate drums. Drums are the, I, I dislike drums now. I dislike I dislike drums. I hate them. Type in rainy gothic landscape. Uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna try. Let's see. This is outside. It's behind. Let's go to properties. Let's change that out. And now we're gonna need to make that like way the honk bigger. Yeah, there we go. That feels very appropriate. Okay, never mind. Turn it. I'm turning it back on. <laughs> I'm turning the. I'm turning the rainy Victorian back on. Okay, there we go. Ambience. We have the ambiance. We have the aesthetics. Oh my god, <laughs> I, hate the, I hate the drum machine guy. I hate you, drum machine neighbor. I hate you. Anyway. Oh my god, it's so distracting. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, alright. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read a fucking I'm gonna read a fucking book now. <laughs> Set a fatal trap. I just like I just like I just like go over there and I like I just like bugs bunny a pair of like TNT sticks into his hands. <laughs> I just he just like he just Looney Tunes himself to death. <laughs> Aesthetic aesthetics. Gotta have the aesthetics. That's the spirit. <sighs> oh, all right. Let's go. Let's let's revisit uh, let's revisit our favorite old dead weirdo. So, we're going to start off with the music of Ericsson. Mm. I have examined maps of the city with the greatest care, yet have never again found the Rue de Asile. These maps have not been modern maps alone, for I know the names change. I have, on the contrary, delved deeply into all the antiquities of the place, and have personally explored every region of whatever name which could possibly answer to the street I knew as the Rue des Asiles. But despite all I have done, it remains an humiliating fact that I cannot find the house, the street, or even the locality, where during the last months of my impoverished life as a student of metaphysics at the university, I heard the music of Eric Zahn. That my memory is broken, I do not wonder, for my health, physical and mental, was greatly was gravely disturbed throughout the period of my residence in the Rue de Sille, and I recall that I took none of my few acquaintances there, 
but that I cannot find the place again is both singular and perplexing. For it was within a half hour's walk of the university, and was distinguished by peculiarities which could hardly be forgotten by anyone who had been there. I had ever met a person who has seen the Rue de Asile. The Rue de Asile lay across a dark river bordered by precipitous brick blair brick blear window brick ble brick okay i thought it said brick bear window and i was gonna be like well that doesn't sound like a very functional window to me because it's made of bricks and bears how are you supposed to be able to see this was a funny joke laugh at it right now do it now this was funny this this will this this will be this will be your only warning <laughs> i like bears i like bears I like bears. They're good bears. New slime, new slime, new slime. New slime! Hello, Galaxy. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, my beloved, my love, my my light of my life. Revisiting my favorite old dead weirdo. Mr. 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 Loving Crafting. Do you, do you like my TVs? Do you like my TVs? Tell me you like my TVs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at PCs and I'm scared. Oh god, please I please be careful. Don't get horn swoggled. Don't don't let anyone don't let anyone horn swoggle you into buying a, a potato or a toaster, whatever bad T bad PCs are called. You like my you like my TVs? You like my TVs, thank you. I like them too. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> a potoster <laughs> a potoster <laughs> i'm gonna go I'm, I'm hey everybody you want to join me i'm gonna go play the team fortress 2 on my potoster <laughs> uh okay where's my book i forgot where all my where all my things are hmm the Rue de Asile lay across a dark river bordered by precipitous brick blear windowed warehouses and spanned by a ponderous bridge of dark stone. It was always shadowy along that river, as if the smoke of the neighboring factories shut out the sun perpetually. The river was also odorous with evil, st <laughs> evil stenches, which I have never smelled elsewhere. <laughs> evil stenches. <laughs> Yo... <laughs> Yo, that man, you got the damn, bro. You got them evil stenches. <laughs> you got deodorant's not that expensive, bro. You got those evil stenches. <laughs> you go, you go to a, you go to like um, <laughs> you go to a, uh, you go to like a smash tournament convention. And you walk in, you're like, damn, it smells like evil stenches in here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this river full of stank. <laughs> and which may someday help me to... F oh, it's long. let me take that again. The river was also odorous with evil stenches, which I have never smelled elsewhere, and which may come day... Which may... Which... Fuck. Which may someday help me to find it, and since I should recognize them at once. Beyond the bridge were narrow cobbled streets with rails, and then came the ascent... At first gradual, but incredibly, incredibly, incredibly steep as the Rue de Asile was reached. I have never seen another street as narrow and as steep as the Rue de Asile. It was almost a cliff, closed to all vehicles, consisting in several places a flight of steps, and ending at the top in a lofty ivied wall. Its paving was irregular, sometimes stone slabs, sometimes cobblestones, and sometimes bare earth with struggling greenish-gray vegetation. The houses were tall, peaked-roofed, incredibly old, and crazily leaning backward, forward, and sideways. Occasionally, an opposite pair both leaned forward, almost met across the street like an arch, and certainly they kept most of the light from the ground below. There were a few overhead bridges from house to house across the street. <laughs> this place had some fucking Tim Burton-ass, uh, Dr. Seuss-ass architecture. <laughs> <laughs> this pl damn this place smells like who's uh <laughs> oh my god Dunny going for the smash players the smash players are on their way to my house right now <laughs> they're on their they're on their way to attack me please call for help 
<laughs> damn, I think this might be haunted, boys. This, <laughs> damn, this street's this street's yo, this street's <laughs> this street straight up smells like spiders. <laughs> this street smells like evil stenches and spiders. <laughs> The inhabitants of that street impressed me peculiarly. At first, I thought it was because they were all silent and ret ret reticent, reticent, silent and reticent. But later decided it was because they were all very old. I do not. <laughs> they were all very old. Old as balls. <laughs> what do spiders even smell like? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I do not know how I came to live on such a street, but I was not myself when I moved there. I had been living in many poor places, always evicted for want of money, until at last I came upon that tottering house on the Rue des Asiles, kept by the paralytic Blando. <laughs> Bland it's the amazing Blando! It's the, ama the amazing Blando! He lives on the evil, stinky streets that smells like spiders! Uh, paralytic bland blando it's spelled like bland dot but i'm gonna call it blando and pretend that the t is silent it was the third house from the top of the street and by far the tallest of them all my room was on the fifth story the only inhabited room there since the house was almost empty on the night i arrived i heard strange music from the peaked garret overhead and the next day asked old bland <laughs> old blando about it he told me it was an old German violin player, a strange, dumb man who signed his name as Eric Zahn, and who played evenings in a cheap theater orchestra, adding that Zahn's desire to play in the night after his return from the theater was the reason he had chosen this lofty and isolated garret room, whose single gable window was the only point on the street from which one could look out over the terminating wall at the declivity and parent panorama beyond. <laughs> Blando, the hero of white people in the 30s everywhere. Look up in the sky. Look in the air. It's fucking Blando. Here to protect you from all those mean, scary minorities. <laughs> it's the... Oh, it's the evil... Uh, uh, human rights. I don't know. <laughs> I realize it's, like, it's the 30s, so, like, you know, I could have gone for, like, the Kaiser of, like, World War One, or, like, it was nearing World War Two. I could have said, like, it's Blando versus Hitler, but, like, n <laughs> I'm just, like, immediately, like, no, go for the race, <laughs> go for the racist, <laughs> knock out the racist first. If I do that, it, it thins out the pool. <laughs> Blando sees the Iron Irish. God, we have to we have to stop. We have to stop this line of we have to stop this line of thinking. The, the cat we can't we can't do this while we're reading Lovecraft. We can't do this while reading a pure and completely never says anything uncouth or like doesn't hasn't aged well like Lovecraft. There is a point where this joke should have stopped and we have passed it. I apologize. It's okay. Hey, if there's anything, hey, if there's anything I have a tendency to do, it's to drag a joke too far and then try to walk it back by telling you all to laugh at it by threatening you directly. Anyway, let's move on. I also apologize for this joke. We're, you know what? We're, we're going to, we're striking it from the timeline, okay? We're striking it from the timeline. We're striking it from the timeline. We're going through the warp. <laughs> oh man, I sure I sure do love leading leading. I sure do love reading classic weird literature with my friends. What a good, what a good and lovely time. Now to keep going as if no, as if nothing happened, which nothing did. <sighs> Where was I? Um, right, we were talking about Blando. 
We're talking about Blando. Um, room was on the fifth story. Signs his name Eric Zahn. Playing over the street. Right. Eric Zahn uh, takes over the uh, the topmost room in the building. <laughs> I don't know. I love reading classic literature, weird literature with you, Tone Bun. Why am I, why am I giving, why am I giving Seti this voice? I love reading classic weird re literature with you too, Tone Bun. Thank you, Seti. I appreciate you. Mwah. I, I kiss you, chat. I kiss you in my appreciation. Thereafter, I heard Zahn every night, and although he kept me awake, I was haunted by the weirdness of his music. Knowing little of the art myself, I was yet certain that none of his harmonies had any relation to music I had heard before, and concluded that he was a composer of highly original genius. The longer I listened, the more I was fascinated, until after a week I resolved to make the old man's acquaintance. One night, as he was returning from his work, I intercepted Zahn in the hallway, and told him I would like to know him, and be with him as he played. He was small, he was a small, lean, bent person, with shabby clothes, blue eyes, a grotesque, satyr-like face, and nearly bald head. <laughs> what a what a shining description of this man. <laughs> a grotesque, satyr-like face. Like, damn, you don't have to drag him so hard. And at first my words seemed both angered and frightened. Uh, at, he was at, at my first words seemed both angered and frightened. My obvious friendliness, however, finally melted him, and he grudgingly motioned to me to follow him up the dark, creaking and rickety attic stairs. His room, one of only two in the steeply pitched garret, was on the west side, towards the high wall that formed the upper end of the street. Its size was very great, and seemed the greater because of its extraordinary bareness and neglect. Of furniture there was only a narrow iron bedstead, a dingy washstand, a small table, a large bookcase, an iron music rack, and three old-fashioned chairs. Sheets of music were piled up in disorder about the floor. The walls were of bare boards, and had probably never known plaster. <laughs> they had never known the sweet, loving embrace of plaster. Have you truly lived until you have embraced yourself in pl in a wall plaster? <laughs> just roast it, just dragging him. He's just like, boy, he was grotesque and ugly, and he had a satyr-like face and a bald head and a limp, and he looks like shit. And I bet his wiener's really small. <laughs> <clears throat> I was I was gonna try and make another joke, but I didn't think of it fast enough, so we're gonna continue. <laughs> he had not even heard of paint. Not understanding rugs, the concept of art was so far from his mind. <laughs> um Size was very grave, the furniture. Wall was bare boards, never known plaster. Whilst the abundance of dust and cobwebs made the place seem more deserted than inhabited, evidently Eric Zahn's world of beauty lay in some far cosmos of the imagination. Motioning me to sit down, the dumb man... <laughs> Stop. Okay, I know dumb means a different thing, like, back in the day, but, like, the fact that he keeps calling him a dumb man. <laughs> you fucking... You fucking dumb man. You dumb idiot with your stupid dumb music. Motioning me to sit down, the dumb man closed the door, turned a large wooden bolt, and lighted a candle to augment the one he had brought with him. He now removed his viol from its moth-eaten covering, and taking it, seated himself in the least uncomfortable of the chairs. He did not employ the music rack, but offered no choice and playing, f and playing from memory, enchanted me for over an hour with strains I had never heard before, strains which had must have been of his own devising. To describe their exact nature is impossible for one unversed in music. They were a kind of fugue with recurrent passages of the most captivating quality, but to me were notable for the absence of any of the weird notes I had overheard from my room below on other occasions. Those haunting notes I had remembered, and had often hummed and whistled inaccurately to myself. So when the player at length laid down his bow, I asked him if he would render some of them. 
As I began my request, the wrinkled satyr-like face lost the bored placidity it had possessed during the playing, and seemed to shew the same curious mixture of anger and fright which I had noticed when I first accosted the old man. For a moment I was inclined to use persuasion, regarding rather lightly the whims of senility, and even tried to awaken my host's weirder mood by whistling a few of the strains which I had listened to the night before. But I did not pursue this course for more than a moment, for when the dumb musician... <laughs> Stop calling him dumb! Dumb means deaf, yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. But, <laughs> but still, like, they just keep calling him dumb. <laughs> like, weird, old weird stories like this always have words that, like, have evolved to a different meaning, and so when you see them here, you're just like, Damn, bro, why you keep calling him dumb? <laughs> why you keep saying that about him? Mm, uh... But I did not pursue this course for a more for more than a moment, for when the dumb musician recognized the whistled air, his face grew suddenly distorted with an expression wholly beyond analysis, and his long, cold, bony right hand reached out to stop my mouth and silence the crude imitation. As he did this, he further demonstrated his ex eccentricity by casting a startled glance towards the lone curtained window, as if fearful of some intruder a glance doubly absurd since the garret stood high and inaccessible amongst all of the adjacent roofs this window being the only point on the street on the st on the steep street as the concierge had told me from which one could see over the wall at the summit the old man's glance brought blandot's remark to my mind and with the certain capriciousness i felt a wish to look out over the wide and dizzying panorama of moonlit roofs and city lights beyond the hilltop which all of the dwellers in the Rue des Asile only this crabbed musician could see. I moved towards the window and wound and would have drawn aside the nondescript curtains when the frightened rage even greater than before the dumb lodger was upon me again, this time motioning with his head towards the door as he nervously strove to drag me thither with both hands. Now thoroughly disgusted with my host, I ordered him to release me and told him I would go at once. His clutch relaxed, and he saw my disgust and offense, his own anger. As he saw my own disgust and defense, his own anger seemed to subside. His, he tightened his relaxing grip, but this time in a friendly manner, forcing me into a chair. Then, with an appearance of wistful crossing to the litter... Uh, fuck. <clears throat> I'm doing such a good job of reading. He tightened his relaxed grip, but this time in a friendly manner, forcing me into a chair. Then, with an appearance of wistfulness crossing to the littered table, where he wrote many words with a pencil in the labored French of the foreigner. Oh, Uzi's here! Hello, Uzi! Hello! Hello, my friend! Hello, my friend, Uzi! Welcome to the stream! I have ch I have- I have made many changes. I have made- I have made- I made many changes to the stream. I changed my background, I changed- I changed my- I changed my model, and I have more funny little expressions. The, um... The starting soon screen has a has a, a funny little monster under the bed. My cat is screaming right now because I'm happy and she hates it when I'm in a good mood. No, that's not true. <laughs> Missed the first hour. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. But this is this is the new like um show screen. So we have that. We, this is the new like uh show share screen share, and this is the new reading room. I have TVs. My TVs are showing, like, old sets that I used in the past. So they're all, as someone put it, skin, they're skinnamarinked for whatever reason. <laughs> they're just, there's just, like, <laughs> just old tiny footage. She's talking with you, Dunny. It's her joy. Spooky. Spooky. Spooky, come here. Spooky, where are you? Spooky, come here. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Spooky, why are you... <sighs> Absolutely zoomy animal. She's, she's, she's so, she's so... I don't know if she's understimulated or overstimulated, but I do know that whenever I start streaming, she's like, <laughs> talking, speaking, talking to me, talking to me, talking to me, talking to me. No, spooky. I'm not just spooky. I am not speaking to you. <laughs> I mean, you can be here if you want. If 
if you could just get on the chair with the blanket that I have set up specifically for you, you little butthead. I love Spooky. I love Spooky, too. I would I would take a bullet for Spooky. But she's also a huge pain in the ass. Like, would I flush her down the toilet? I want to. If someone hurt her, I would kill. <laughs> I would, I'd go to prison to, to save my cat. <laughs> you will take a bullet for Spooky. I will take a bullet, and then I will take that bullet back out, and then I will throw it back. <laughs> Through sheer force of rage, I will force the bullet back out of my body and hit the attacker with it if they hurt my cat. My annoying, irritating, pain-in-the-ass cat who wakes us up at 3 a.m. to feed her the slob. <laughs> oh, she's playing. Oh, now she's playing. She's playing with the, the rubber noodles. We have these like we have these like little rubber stretchy noodle things and I have them like hanging over her uh her like like it's like a it's like a bristly arc brush thing that's like freestanding and she's just over there like batting them around like they're curtains. This this absolutely adorable animal whom I love that I want to yeet out the window sometimes but would would 100% kill for. Anyway, Please give extra pets for me. I will do this for you. Oh my god. Oh my neighbors. Oh my neighbors are my neighbors. Oh god. One neighbor was already going nuts with the drum machine earlier and now I have neighbors like outside the the door that are just like arguing with each other. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to ignore it. I'm choosing to ignore this. I'm choosing not to hear them yelling at each other. <laughs> I'm under attack. I'm under attack by all sides. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> I'm, I'm being assaulted. Uh, hold on. I see the hyd I see the hydratus. I will drink some water. Thank you. I think I think Spooky has returned to wherever she was hiding. So I'm gonna put her. <laughs> I'm gonna put Spooky away for now. Mm. Okay. So anyway. Uh, where was I? Right. So we're hanging out. So so our pro tag, our protagonist is uh, in the room of Eric Zahn and is like, hey, play some of that weird, funky, like weird breakcore music you were playing the other night. And then Eric Zahn is like, B -b 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 fuck you. That shit's hard and weird and bad. And you don't want it. And the guy's like, but I do. And then he's like, well, OK. The note which he finally handed me was an appeal for tolerance and forgiveness. Zahn said that he was old, lonely, and afflicted with strange fears and nervous disorders connected with his music and with other things. He had enjoyed my, my listening to his music and wished I would come again and not mind his eccentricities. But he could not play to another his weird harmonies and could not bear hearing them from another, nor could he bear having anything in his room touched by another. He had not known until our hallway conversation that I could overhear his playing in my room, and he now asked me if I would arrange with Blando to take a lower room, where I could not hear him in the night. He would, he wrote, defray the difference in rent. As I sat deciphering the execrable, 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 <laughs> play, the, play that fucking music, gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> I really want the protagonist. So, like Uzi, you weren't here for this, but the protagonist the, of this story was just like absolutely dragging this dude's appearance, where he's like, "Oh, he's an absolutely like hideous, lumbering, old, bald, satyr-faced, ugly motherfucker," and we're all just like, "Damn, why are you dragging him so hard? <laughs> why are you calling him ugly so much?" so rude. As I sat deciphering the execrable French, I felt more lenient towards the old man. He was a victim of physical and nervous suffering, as was I, and my metaphysical studies had taught me kindness. In the silence there came a slight sound from the window. The shutter must have rattled in the night wind, and for some reason I started almost, viol almost as violently as I did uh, Eric Zahn. So when I had finished, I... Uh, <clears throat> When I had finished reading, I shook my host by the hand, 
and departed as a friend. The next day, Blandot gave me a more expensive room on the third floor, between the apartments of the aged moneylender and the room of the respectable upholsterer. There was no one on the fourth floor. It was not long before I found that Zahn's eagerness for my company was not as great as it had seemed while he was persuading me to move down from the fifth story. He did not ask me to call on him, and when I did call, he appeared uneasy and played listlessly. This was always at night. In the day, he slept and would admit no one. My liking for him did not grow, though the attic room and the weird music seemed to hold an odd fascination for me. I had a curious desire to look out of that window, over the wall and down the unseen slope at the glittering roof, roofs and spires which must lie outspread there. Once I went up to the garret during the theater hours when Zahn was away, but the door was locked. What I did succeed in doing was to overhear the nocturnal playing of the dumb old man. <laughs> Stop calling him dumb. Well, okay, we already know. We already know that in old-timey language, dumb means deaf, but, like, I can't not read it as him just going, like, this, this fucking dumb old man. <laughs> he has a face like a satyr. He hates everything he can touch, and I will fix him. <laughs> I will fix him. <laughs> oh, d oh, that's right. Dumb is um, dumb is mute. That's what that that's what that means. Deaf is, deaf is a different thing. Okay, sorry. Mute. That makes more sense. Uh, <laughs> it was me being wrong. Sorry. Ah, it's all right. <laughs> not not like the disrespected upholsterer who could who could resold couches stained with wine, food, and other liquids. <laughs> mm. Mm. At first, I would tiptoe up to my old fifth floor. Then I grew a bold. Then I grew bold enough to climb the last creaking staircase to the peaked garret. There, in the narrow hall outside the bolted door with the covered keyhole, I often heard sounds which filled me with an inc indefinable dread—the dread of vague wonder and of brooding mystery. It was not that the sounds were hideous, for they were not, but that they held vibrations suggesting nothing on this globe of earth, and that at certain intervals they assumed a symphonic quality which I could hardly conceive as produced by one player. Certainly, Eric Zahn was a genius of wild power. As the weeks passed, the playing grew wilder, whilst the old musician acquired an increasing haggardness and furtiveness pitiful to behold. <laughs> <laughs> he's just getting like he's just getting uglier and dumber and stupider <laughs> I said sorry I heard I, I heard you say sorry I heard you say sorry you want to fire about it I see you got the knife out <laughs> you, you want to you want to fucking go you want a duel you want a knife fight do you want me to do you want me to bring in the knife wielding tentacle for backup that's a new that's a new redeem by the way uzi i have i have a redeemable knife wielding tentacle i'm gonna add more fun stuff later but for now i have the knife wielding tentacle okay now we have the knife wielding tentacle again <laughs> okay well you know what now i'm in trouble because machine elves redeemed the knife wielding tentacle for them so now so now it's now it's two against one Wait a minute. I know how to summon backup. Haha. -ha. I also have a knife wielding tentacle. <laughs> now we are evenly matched, machine elves. <laughs> uh okay, I'm going <laughs> to I'm putting the extra one away. <laughs> I'm just going to try I'm just going to have to try and dodge this one while I read. Uh, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then a spooky skeleton popped out, and then there was Cthulhu, and uh, and then someone went crazy, and uh, uh, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> so into my, I'm so into my own stupid humor. Okay. <clears throat> oh, brr. Um. It was not the sound. Uh, it was not that the sounds were hideous, for they were not, but that they held vibrations suggesting nothing on this globe of earth, and that at certain intervals they assumed a symphonic quality, which I could hardly conceive was produced by one player. Certainly, Eric Zahn was a genius of wild power. As the weeks passed, the playing grew wilder, 
whilst the old musician acquired an increasing haggardness and furtiveness pitiful to behold. He now refused to admit me at any time, and shunned me whenever we met on the stairs. Then one night, as I listened to the door, I heard the shrieking viol swell into a chaotic babble of sound, a pandemonium which would have led me to doubt my own shaking sanity had there not come from behind that barrel portal a piteous proof that the horror was real, the awful, inarticulate cry which only a mute can utter, and which rises only in moments of the most terrible fear or anguish. I knocked repeatedly at the door, but received no response. Afterwards, I waited in the black hallway, shivering with cold and fear, till I heard the poor musician's feeble effort to rise from the floor by the aid of chair. Believing him just conscious after a fainting fit, I renewed my rapping, at the same time calling out my name reassuringly. I heard Zahn stumble to the window and close both shutter and sash, then stumble to the door, which he falteringly unfastened to admit me. This time his delight at having me present was real, for his distorted face gleamed with relief while he clutched at my coat as a child clutches at its mother's skirts. Shaking pathetically, the old man forced me into a chair whilst he sank into another, beside which his viol and bow lay carelessly on the floor. He sat for some time inactive, nodding oddly, but having a paradoxical suge suggestion of intense and frightening listening. Subsequently, he seemed to be satisfied, and crossing to a chair by the table, wrote a brief note, handed it to me, and returned to the table, where he began to write rapidly and incessantly. The note implored me in the name of mercy, and for the sake of my own curiosity, to wait where I was while he prepared a full account in German of all the marvels and terrors which beset him. I waited, and the dumb man's pants, the, d the dumb man's pants, the dumb men, the dumb, fuck, the dumb man's pencil flew. <laughs> the, the dumb man's pants flew. <laughs> oh, ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> this, this, went, this is going in a direction all of a sudden. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. The dumb man's pencil flew. It was perhaps an hour later, while I still waited, and while the old musician feverishly written sheets still continued, eh. while the old musician's feverishly written sheets still continued to pile up, that I saw Zahn start as from the hint of a horrible shock. Unmistakably, he was looking at the curtained window and listening shudderingly. Then I half fancied I'd heard the sound myself, though it was not a horrible sound, but rather an exquisitely low and infinitely distant musical note suggesting a player in one of the neighboring houses, or in some abode beyond the lofty wall over which I had never been able to look. Upon Zahn the effect was terrible, for dropping his pencil suddenly he rose, seized his veal, and commenced to rend the night with the wildest playing I had ever heard from his bow save when listening at the barred door. It would be useless to describe the playing of Eric Zahn on that dreadful night. It was more horrible than anything I had ever overheard, because I could now see the expression of his face, and could realize that this time the motive was stark fear. He was trying to make a noise, to ward something off or drown something out. What I could not imagine, awesome though it, I felt it must be. The playing grew fantastic, delirious, and hysterical, yet kept to the last the qualities of supreme genius which I knew this strange old man possessed. I recognized the air. It was a wild Hungarian dance popular in the theaters, and I reflected for a moment that this was the first time I had ever heard Zahn play the work of another composer. Louder and louder, wilder and wilder, mounted the shrieking and whining of that desperate viol. The player was dripping with an uncanny perspiration that twisted like a monkey, always looking frantically at that curtained window. In his frenzied strains, I could almost see shadowy satyrs and bacchanals dancing and whirling insanely through the seething abysses of clouds and smoke and lightning, and then I thought I heard a shriller, steadier t note that was not from the viol, a calm, deliberate, purposeful, mocking note from far away in the west. At this juncture, the shutter began to rattle in a howling night wind, which had sprung up outside as if in answer to the mad playing within. Zahn's screaming viol now outdid itself, emitting sounds I had never thought a viol could emit. The shutter rattled more loudly, unfastened, and commenced slamming against the window. Then the glass broke shiveringly under the persistent impacts, and the chill wind rushed in, 
making the candles sputter and the rustling sheets of paper on the table where Zahn had begun to write out his horrible secret. I looked at Zahn and saw that he was past conscious observation. His blue eyes were bulging, glassy and sightless, and the frantic playing had become a blind, mechanical, unrecognizable orgy that no pen could even suggest. A sudden gust, stronger than the others, caught up the manuscript and bore it towards the window. I followed the flying sheets in desperation, but they were gone before I reached the demolished panes. Then I remembered my old wish to gaze from this window, the only window in the Rue des Asiles from which one might see the slope beyond the wall, and the city outstretched beneath. It was very dark, but the city's lights always burned, and I expected to see them there amidst the rain and wind. Yet when I looked from that highest of all gable windows, looked while the candles sputtered and the insane viol howled with the night wind, I saw no city spread below, and no friendly lights gleaming from the remembered streets, but only the blackness of space, illimitable, unimagined space, alive with motion and music, and having no semblance of anything on earth. And as I stood there looking in terror, the wind blew out both the candles, and in that ancient peaked garret, leaving me in savage and impenetrable darkness with chaos and pandemonium before me, and the demon madness of that night baying viol behind me. I staggered back in the dark, without in the means of striking a light, crashing against the table, overturning a chair, and finally groping my way to the place where the blackness screamed with shocking music. To save myself and Eric Zahn, I could at least try, whatever the powers opposed to me. Once I thought some chill thing brushed me, and I screamed, but my scream could not be heard above the hideous viol. Suddenly out of the blackness the madly sawing bow struck me, and I knew I was close to the player. I felt ahead, touched the back of Zahn's chair, and then found and shook his shoulder in an effort to bring him to his senses. He did not respond, and still the viol shrieked on, without slacking. I moved my hand to his head, whose mechanical nodding I was able to stop, and shouted in his ear that we must both flee from the unknown things of the night. But he neither answered me, nor abated the frenzy of his unutterable music, while all through the skirette strange currents of wind seemed to dance in the darkness and babble. When my hand touched his ear I shuddered, though I knew not why, knew not why till I felt the still face, the ice-cold, stiffened, unbreathing face, whose glassy eyes bulged uselessly into the void, and then, by some miracle finding the door and the large wooden bolt, I plunged wildly away from that glassy-eyed thing in the dark, and from the ghoulish howling of that accursed veal whose fury increased even as I plunged. Leaping, floating, flying down those endless stairs through the dark house, racing mindlessly out into the narrow, steep, and ancient street of steps that tottered houses, clattering down steps and over cobbles to the lower streets of the putrid canyon-walled river, panting across the great dark bridge to the broader, healthier streets and boulevards we know. All these are terrible impressions that linger with me, and I recall that there was no wind, and that the moon was out, and that all the lights of the city twinkled. Despite my most careful researches and investigations, I have never since been able to find the Rue des Asiles, but I am not wholly sorry either, for this, for this, for as for the loss, fuck. But I am not wholly sorry either for this or for the loss in undreamable abysses of the closely written sheets, which alone could have explained the music of Eric Zahn. <laughs> He's staring into the beast. <laughs> Oof, okay. Oof, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna take a hydrate. Mm. Oh, I always get... Oh, man. I love getting into it whenever, like, it starts to, like, get nuts. <laughs> oh, Lovecraft finales always seem to just, like, go fucking 11. I'm sure... I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> this was... This was just, you know what, this was just a story about a guy, you know, who heard his neighbor playing, like, Skrillex on the violin and was like, I need to know more. Really solid and, like, no unexplained madness. Just weird shit. Weird shit happened, dude. <laughs> very, very, like, um, 
very like Twilight Zone, Rod Sterling kind of thing where it's just, hey, wasn't that shit just weird? <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird if that shit just happened? Why can't I find... Why can't I find the haunted place on the haunted street with the haunted music now? <laughs> Uh, the Lovecraft that still uh, Lovecraft story that still haunts me is the one about the doctor who made a cure to resurrect the dead. Ah, Reanimator, yes. Uh, is the, I wonder is that in this collection? Did we? I know we. I don't think we got to it before. Is Reanimator in here? Let's see. Nope. Reanimator is not in this book. You're safe. <laughs> the Reanimator movie fucking rules. Reanimator is not in this book. You're safe. The Reanimator movie fucking ruled. Oh, God, I remember that one. I, oh, that, oh, that scene has some wild practical effects going on. Ugh. Bark, 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 bark. It's such a spooky ride. <laughs> it's so spooky. It's so fucking spooky. Ugh, I need a giant syringe of bright green liquid. Damn, don't we all? Although one scene did not need to be in there. Yeah, and I think I know which one you're talking about. I don't really like it either. It's it's a scene that I don't think anybody anybody in the modern era really wants to see again. Uh so we are about uh we're about an hour and a half whoops, I'm mixing up all my emotions again. So we're about an hour and a half in. Uh I it's like the Evil Dead true. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, I'm I'm time warping this entire conversation out of existence. Anyway, <laughs> Silent Hill referenced that scene, but the time warp deleted my words. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's precisely what happened. So anyway, so we're going to we're going to take a break. Whoops, wrong one. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have some snacks. Um, but you know what? You know what I should do. You know what I should do because I never have this up on the break screen. Uh, where, where, where are the snacks? Where, where are my snacks? Where are the snacks? Where are they? Where are the snacks? Where are the gummy snacks? Snacks. Where are the snacks? There's the snacks. Oh my god! Oh, they're so huge. Oh, that is way bigger than I wanted to be. <laughs> you get very big gummy snacks. <laughs> You'll have to share them with the creature, though. You, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to share them with the monster under the bed. <laughs> you gotta share the food gummy. All right, I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna turn the jazz back on. And yeah, so I'm gonna go take I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna take five minutes. I'm gonna have a snack. I will be right back.
<clears throat> okay. And we're back. Oh god. Oh the tentacle oh the tentacle's already here. Oh god, the ten I forgot the tentacle is here. <laughs> chat chat help me. Chat help me. <laughs> help me, I forgot I forgot to turn off the tentacle before I left. <laughs> chat save <savory. laughs> And then And then Dunny remembered. That he took away the redeem to give you guys a gun, so you can't save me. <laughs> I took away the gun redeem because I want to give you guys something like more fun. <laughs> but but now I am now that I'm in danger, I'm a little concerned. Now I'm like, oh, maybe I should have let you have a gun. Can we get a slinky? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Sorry, you want a you want a dang slinky? Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you a fucking slinky. You want a slinky? Find you a slinky right goddamn now. Slinky, is there a slinky gif? Can I find like can I find like a gif of a slinky? You know what? No, I like this one better. Save that. Slinky. Image. -da -da. There you go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Have a slinky. <laughs> Actually, if I put it, if I put it like right here, it really do be looking like it's like it's your hands. <laughs> this kind of rules, actually. <laughs> I might, I might, I, no, I, I gotta write this down. I have an idea. I have an idea that I'll have to draw out later, but I have an idea. <laughs> but there you go. You get to have a slinky. I'm not even going to, like, time it or make it disappear. You just get to have that for the stream. Here, chat, you can... You, here, chat, you can... You can stim with this slinky while... While... While, while your... While your Uncle Dunny... While your Uncle Dunny reads his stories. <laughs> while your Uncle Dunny is reading his... His stories from a long-dead old racist weirdo. You can you can play with the slinky. <laughs> fucking fucking dying. Fucking dying. Uh, I don't know why this is I don't know why it's getting me because I just I just keep imagining the TV has like little itty bitty teeny tiny hands and it's just playing with a slinky. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Wait, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. I have such a good idea. I'm so smart. I'm so I'm so smart. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Take that away. Hold on a second. 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 Which not that. This one. Okay. Uh, properties. Take this, put in that. Uh, where is it? Where are you? Yo, there we go. I should just have it. Oh, I should just have it be a redeem where like, where like you can choose what goes on the TV. That should. Oh my god, I'm so fucking smart, Chad. I'm so fucking smart. I'm such a genius. I'm so fucking, I'm so goddamn smart. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. You get to have a slinky. It's on the little TV. I should also, I might, maybe, I could probably, um, I can probably also change things, like, in the, on the big TV as well. Oh, should I put this, should I put the slinky on the big TV? Or should I keep it on the little TV? Hmm... No, I'll leave it on the little TV for now. I like I like the I like the aesthetic of it. 
small TV for now. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on. Um hold on. I have hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. This is such a I'm gonna I'm interrupting the stream. I'm interrupting the stream to add a redeem. Cause this is the funniest fucking shit to me. <laughs> this is great. I love this idea. <laughs> read a read a book? Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> probably should do the thing. That I said that I should do when I started the stream. <laughs> Getting distracted, making new stuff so that people can play with them. On my stream where I f frequently... You know what? No, fuck it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We should get back on track. <laughs> we actually should... My, I'm, I'm, I'm going full Vembo right now. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just getting, getting distracted by everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh. If, if something if something naturally occurs that we want to put on the big TV, we'll put it on the big TV. But for now, we should keep going. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, next story of the night is called... The Haunter of the Dark. And it starts... Let's see. It seems it starts with a quote from something called Nemesis. I have seen the dark universe yawning where the black planets roll without aim. Where they roll in their horror unheeded without knowledge or luster, luster or name. Hold on. Let me look that up. I'm curious. Can we see... Can we see what that's from? I have seen the dark universe. I come from a parallel reality where I saw the dark, <laughs> the dark, uh, the dark universe. Uh, oh, oh, he just wrote the damn thing, huh? It's one of his own po- This, this fucking goober has the audacity to quote one of his own damn poems. And before one of his stories. <clears throat> but hey, you know what? While we're here, <laughs> he has an AU, give him a break. But you know what? While we're here, just for giggles. Throw the ghoul guarded gateways of slumber past the wan mooned abysses of night. I have lived o'er my lives without number. I have sounded all things with my sight, and I struggle and shriek ere the daybreak, being driven to madness with fright. I have whirled with the earth at the dawning, when the sky was a vaporous flame. I have seen the dark universe yawning, where the black planets roll without aim, where they roll in their horror unheeded, without knowledge or luster or name. I have drifted o'er the seas without ending, under sinister gray clouded skies that the many forked lightning is rending. This resound with hysterical cries, with the moans of invisible demons that out of the green waters rise. I have plunged like a deer through the arches of the hoary primordial grove, where the oaks feel the presence that marches and stalks on where no spirit dares rove. And I flee from a thing that surrounds me and leers through dead branches above. I have stumbled by cave-ridden mountains that rise barren and bleak from the plain. I have drunk of the fog-fetid mountains, the ooze down the marsh and the main. And in the hot, cursed tarns I have seen things I care not to gaze on again. I have scanned the vast ivy-clad place, palace. I have trod its untenanted, its untenanted hall, where the moon writhing up from the valleys shows the tapestried things on the wall. Strange figures discordantly woven, which I cannot endure to recall. I have peered from the casement in wonder at the moldering meadows around, at the many-roofed village laid under, the curse of a grave griddled, <laughs> griddled, girdled ground. And from rows of white urn-carven marble I listen intently for sound. 
I have haunted the tombs of the ages. I have flown on the pinions of fear, where the smoke belching Erebus rages, where the jokels loom snow clad and drear, and in realms where the sun of the desert consumes what it can never cheer. I was old when the pharaohs first mounted, the jewel decked throne by the Nile. I was old in those epochs uncounted, when I, and only I, was vile, and man just a uh, man yet untainted and happy dwelt in bliss on that far arctic isle o oh, great was the sin of my spirit and great is the reach of its doom not the pity of heaven can cheer it nor can respite be found in the tomb down the infinite aeons come beating the wings of unmerciful gloom through the ghoul guarded gateways of slumber past the wan moon abysses of night i have lived over lives without number without number I have sounded all things with my sight, and I struggle and shriek ere the daybreak, being driven to madness with fright. Got alert to make dinner, listening in. Have a good, have a good lurk, everybody. Have a good lurk, you two. I see Nyla, you're lurking too. That was pretty wicked. Yeah, that was pretty sick. <laughs> hey, that was pretty cool. Hey, that was, hey, boy. Hey, okay, Mr. 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 Lovecraft, that wasn't bad. Uh, no, I just want to test the command. Yeah, I don't have anything set to have anything happen when, um, when, when someone does the command lurk. Um, but, you know, whenever I see it in chat, I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, I know someone's just hanging out. And it's like, hey, that's good enough for me. <laughs> slurp some liquid. Go, go slurp some fucking liquid. Hey, you want a hey, wise guy? Hey, you wanna you wanna fucking hey you wanna start something wise guy? Hey, you wanna fight about it? Hey, why don't you go slurp some liquid? Hey, how about you go go you go take a little slurpy, take a little sippy sippy? Hey, how about that? How about you go take a little sippy and sippy and calm down? Maybe uh maybe you drink a little water, maybe you refresh your body, and then it makes you feel a little better, and then maybe you be like less of a putz. <laughs> I don't know what I was channeling there. Uh, posture check. I'm okay. Hold on. I'm, I actually should, I should, I should change my posture. I should reposture. I'm posturing, I'm posturing. Okay. Um, I did redeem the height. Oh, I do see it. Okay. Sorry about that. I saw the posture check before anything else. Mm. Yum, 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 water. Oh, <sighs> okay. Is my, uh... yep, that's still going. Okay. You were channeling an aggressively nice New Yorker. <laughs> hey, uh, how's about, hey, hey, pal, hey, how's about you, uh, how about you, how's about you practice a little self-care because I love you and you're my friend and I think you deserve to be happy. How about that, huh? How about I, how about I take you out to a nice, nice little ice cream date and I get you the little sprinkles on top of your vanilla cone. How about that? How about I add something special and beautiful to your life to remind you that, that grace still exists in this beautiful world. That despite everything that's that's harsh and bad and awful in this world, that love and friendship can still be found between between two, two grown-ass strangers that just want to have a, a moment of peace and love and happiness. Just peace and love and care on planet fucking Earth. How about that shit? How about fucking that? Eh? How about that? I bet that would make you feel better. Eh? How about that shit? <laughs> I feel like I really feel like the hat sells it. <laughs> Somehow, because like, okay, I will. Okay, I will share this real quick. Okay, so I, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try to like keep anything under wraps or anything, just because it's gonna take forever to me to for me to put it together in the first place. So like, I've actually pondered a little bit of like story lore for this environment for this character i haven't really done a whole lot of like really creative writing in a long time but i'm i'm kind of like touching on it a little bit but i will tell you that the reason there is a reason why why goop dunny has this hat and it is because they initially came to this house to deliver a sandwich <laughs> they they started life as just a, a delivery guy and the hat was the only thing that survived now survived what you ask i don't know because i'm not that far along in it yet <laughs> but 
I have I have actually thought that where's my knife? I have actually thought about making uh this guy this little dude up here like part of the the greater story. Because if you'll notice, his picture is on the back of one of the books up here. So, I'm actually wondering if I want to make this guy like like I've been calling him the author in my brain. Um, I'm wondering if I want to make him like a like a part of the story, and potentially, like like the the monster under the bed might be like what he has become, and we're all just kind of cool with it. <laughs> Dunny got goopified. He did not. St he was not a goop always, and then he then he got gooped. Then he got goopified. How? I still don't know. <laughs> I'm still working out that. Because my plan is that when when Galaxy is done rigging... So, uh, Galaxy, my partner, my beloved spouse, whom I love very much, they are working on a live 2D avatar of, like, a 2.0 version of their character. And it's, it's going to take months. It's going to take a long time. So, like, it's not anything that's happening right away. But I'm thinking that when he is done rigging that absolute beast of a character i'm going to i'm gonna i'm gonna work with him to see if we can get uh <clears throat> to see if we can get a version of this as as like a live 2d model because i'm really i'm really liking this i'm really liking the character design i'm liking the the like the story lore that i'm coming up with in my head um so that's that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking about doing but like i said this is all like very far away from now this is this is all this is all gonna be happening like way later down the line so that's why i don't really have a problem telling you all about it because i'm not <laughs> i can't this is this is like this is like if someone was like, ooh, I'm going to show you the new car that I'm building and it's going to revolutionize everything. And then they just show you like a steel frame. <laughs> like, um, like, like I'm just telling you guys about like two bones out of the skeleton that I am attempting to put together. But anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but with that said, we have a story that we were about to get back to. So <laughs> this skeleton will be something. Yes. <laughs> uh making schemes for skeleton lore is fun though absolutely i like i said i'm still i'm still thinking about <laughs> it's a cat <laughs> uh but yeah i'm still i'm still thinking about it all i'm still pondering uh if i want to like how deep i want to go with it but like i said i've been i've been so like like story creative atrophied for a long time like yeah, I draw I draw all my cute little I draw all my cute funny little guys, but you know, I used to write and come up with a lot of like longer, bigger stories before. So I'd kind of like to try and ease myself into, you know, getting lost in my own shit again. You know what I mean? I've been out of the serious creative serious creative writing game for years. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, speaking of cre hey, speaking of creative writing, you know who does creative writing? This old dead racist weirdo. <laughs> God, you guys, I, I find it so hard. Okay, so as okay, I will I will talk about this one other thing. So uh, I've been find I've been collecting other weird fiction authors, right? I've got uh, I've got Thomas Ligotti, I've got uh, Arthur Mackin, I've got Algernon Blackwood, um, I've got uh 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 shit what was his name um uh i can't see there's glare on my bookshelf and i cannot see his name um see i don't know c arthur clark i think is his name i don't know something like that uh but i've been collecting all these different authors and man man that casual racism hits uh oh boy the casual racism is sometimes actually more prevalent in some of these other authors than than lovecrafts like lovecraft like occasionally does it some of these other authors like they just they just say the wildest shit you've ever heard 
Like, just super casually. It'll be like, oh, Binkish Bonkish, so oh, it's so lovely to see you today. Isn't there some kind of horrible eldritch atrocity happening today? And then the other guy will just be like, oh, man. Yeah, it sure is. Be... <laughs> just censor the entire fucking sentence. Uh, Lovecraft is racism as text, like the shadow over Ren's mouth was about him being like one eighth Italian or whatever. Jeez. Uh, but that's why we're here to fight. Hey, was Lovecraft a good person? No. Was he a racist old dead wackadoo? Yes. Was were, were people of the time even like, hey, bro, could you like walk it back a little bit? And he was like, no. <laughs> was he a good was he even a good writer no not really other people i will i will say this like every day of my life uh was was lovecraft the best writer ever no was he the progenitor of the genre of cosmic horror yes like he is he is a notable name in the genre but he but we have like better authors than this now we have other authors that that have perfected the the style of cosmic horror that he works in. And I think that there's value in looking at like a lot of older authors and a lot of like cuz cuz like we can't just pretend these people didn't exist, you know? Like we can't just pretend that this wasn't an, an attitude that was prevalent at the time when it was made. But I can also just dunk the shit out of it. <laughs> as i'm reading it because it's public domain and he's dead and there's no one who can come after me for calling him <laughs> an old dead weirdo and then talking about like dicks in the middle of his story <laughs> i can dunk on his shit all fucking day <laughs> and sometimes when it's actually like not that bad i can appreciate some good writing but in the meanwhile i'm going to inject it with a bunch of dumb bullshit for fun because <laughs> that's what i do Anyway, speaking of which, I'm going to get back to said dunkery. <laughs> get dunked her on, Miss. Yo, get dunked on, Mr. Whackcraft. <laughs> Owned. Oh, fucking. Oh. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> get dunkerooed. Okay. Anyway, so. This next story is called The Haunter, and the Haunter of the Dark. We already did the funny little poem that was actually kind of neat. Um. <laughs> racism more like dumbism oh <laughs> seti has seti has just defeated racism forever <laughs> racism has been defeated it's dumbism now <laughs> oh okay <clears throat> Cautious investigators will hesitate to challenge the common belief that Robert Blake was killed by lightning or by some profound nervous shock derived from an electrical discharge. It is true that the window he faced was unbroken, but nature has shown herself capable of many freakish performances. The expression on his face may easily have arisen from some obscure muscular source unrelated to anything he saw. While the entries in his diary are clearly the result of a fantastic imagination, aroused by certain local superstitions and by certain old matters he had uncovered <laughs> including including his uh his his mothman jersey devil cryptid crossover fan fiction we didn't delve too deep into it because it it got a little it got a little strong like like way harder than any of us were expect none of us knew he really had that in him but, you know, we're thinking that could have had a factor in it. You know, aside from the general insanity. <laughs> As for the anomalous conditions at the deserted church on Federal Hill, the shrewd analyst is not slow in attributing them to some charlatanry. Charlatanry. <laughs> pardon, pardon me, I'm about to engage in some charlatanry. I... <laughs> me go me going around producing my evil stents stenches with my charlotte tree <laughs> conscious or unconscious with at least some of which blake was secretly connected 
For after all, the victim was a writer and painter wholly devoted to the field of myth, dream, terror, and superstition, and his own many, many collection of personas. And avid in his quest for scenes and effects of a bizarre spectral sort, his earlier stay in the city, a visit to a strange old man as deeply given to occult and forbidden lore as he, had ended amidst death and flame, and it must have been some morbid instinct, instinct, instinct which drew him back from his home in Milwaukee. He may have known of the old stories despite his statements to the contrary in the diary, and his death may have nipped in the bud some stupendous hoax destined to have literary reflection. Among those, however, who have examined and correlated all this evidence, there remain several who cling to less rational and commonplace theories. They are inclined to take much of Blake's diary at its face value, and point significantly to certain facts such as the undub undoubted geniusness, geniusness, geniusness of the old church. Wait a minute, no genuineness. I can't read. <laughs> I was like geniusness, as the undoubted geniusness. Fuck the old-fashioned gen. Fuck the undoubted genuineness. Oh wait a minute, hold on. Now I have to do this again. Old fashioned. Wait, hold on a second. Uh. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Undoubted genuineness, undoubted genuineness, undoubted genuineness, undoubted genuineness, undoubted genuineness, undoubted genuineness. That actually wasn't that hard. That wasn't that hard. That wasn't much of a tongue twister. The verified existence of the disliked and unorthodox starry wisdom sect prior to 1877, the recorded disappearance of an inquisitive reporter named... Edwin M. Lillybridge. <laughs> M. Edwin M. Lillybridge. <laughs> Hello, sir. My name is Edwin M. Lillybridge. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just got really into that. This is things that was a funny name. Hello, I'm Edwin L. Edwin M. Lillybridge. In 1893, and above all, the look of monstrous, transfiguring fear on the face of the young writer when he died. It was one of these believers who, moved to fanatical extremes, threw into the bay with curiously angled stone and its strangely adorned metal box found in the old church steeple. The black windowless steeple, and not the tower where Blake's diary said those things originally were. Though widely censured both, of, both officially and unofficially, this man, a reputable physician with a taste for odd folklore, averred that he had rid the earth of something too dangerous to rest upon it. Between these two schools of opinion, the reader must judge for himself. The papers have given the tangible details from a skeptical angle, leaving for others the drawing of the picture as Robert Blake saw it, or thought he saw it, or pretended to see it, or maybe saw it theoretically, or maybe just made it up in his mind, or maybe he just doodled it, or maybe he just lied about it, or maybe... He just spit on his finger and then drew a picture on the wall. Or maybe he kept kept this joke going on about like five seconds longer than it needed to go. <laughs> anyway. Now, studying the diary closely, dispassionately, and at leisure, let us surmise the dark chain of events from the expressed point of view of the chief actor. Young Blake returned to province in the winter of 1934 through 35th, Taking, uh, taking the upper floor of a venerable dwelling in a grassy court off the college street, on the crest of the great eastward hill near the Brown University campus, and behind the marble John, uh, behind the mar <laughs> to behind a oh man, oh damn, oh shit, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot to do this before stream started. Oh man, I gotta go to the marble John real bad. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get to the marble John. <laughs> This is a good joke. This is a good fucking joke. This is a good joke that I have made. I'm proud of it. I'm proud. I'm proud of. I'm proud of my toilet joke. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> behind the marble, John Harry. Uh, what is this? This campus. And behind the marble, John Harry Library. John Hay Library. Why am I? I'm goofing up all my fucking words. John Hay Library. It was a cozy and fascinating place, in a little garden oasis of village-like antiquity, where huge, friendly cats sunned themselves atop a convenient shed. And then, 
We don't do any more of the story. We just talk about the cats. <laughs> the Marble John is Thatcher's grave. <laughs> I say, I say, old bean, I'm going to take a trip to the Marble John. Take a fat shit on Margaret Thatcher's grave. <laughs> Why, I'm going to climb up the statue of Margaret Thatcher and take a big old duty right on her head. The square Georgian house had a monitor roof, a classic, uh, classic doorway with fan carving, small panned windows, and all the other earmarks of early 19th century workmanship. Inside were six paneled doors, wide floorboards, and curving col colonial staircases, white Adam period mantles, and one of those really tacky, uh, one of those really tacky Ahago anime orgasm face posters. <laughs> I did eat. I'm gonna fuck. <gasps> did you? Oh, Galaxy. Did you buy a computer? Did you buy us? A, did you buy us a PC just now? You didn't get. You didn't get Hornswoggle, right? You didn't get Hornswoggle, did you? I won't. I won't stand by any Hornswogglery. Horn. Horn. Hornswogglery. You computered. Wait, is it good? Is it a good computer? I want to know. Tell me. Is it a good computer? Someone tried. Someone tried to hornswoggle you. How dare? How fucking dare? It's a good. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, partner. Let's talk about this major financial decision we just made. We'll do it entirely in my chat. Mm. No, it's okay. Okay, no, actually, we have we had money for it. This is like tax return money we were using for this. This was something we were planning. This isn't like a spur of the moment thing. They work on commission. I'm not shocked. Ugh. 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I, I bet that would be really annoying. I'm a, I'm, I'm a horn swoggler. I come from a long family line of horn swogglers. My father was a horn swoggler. My grandfather was a horn swoggler. And his father was a horn swoggler. And by God, I will die a horn swoggler. <laughs> no, you've never seen a man swoggle a horn quite like me. But cool, cool. We have a new com cool. We have a new computer. Hey, maybe that means we can run games on it, and it won't like fucking <laughs> fucking stutter and die. Like like when you were trying to play Signalis, and it just fucking shat itself with Signalis, a game that is like not that tough, like to visually. It's a 3070 12th gen i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it l it lights up. Wait, it lights up? Oh my god, wait a minute, it lights up. I like how that's the only part of this description that I understand, is that it lights up. <laughs> I like the pretty lights. <laughs> Someone could be like, hey, do you want to buy this computer? And I would be like, I don't know, man, is it any good? And they'll be like, it lights up, and then I'll be like, here's my money. Shut up and take my money. Give me the fucking computer. I want the pretty lights. <laughs> That's all you care about? Look, I just don't understand how computers work, okay? I know that there's magic and pixie dust inside, and that's that's all I know. <laughs> I know that there's some kind of, like, magic bullshit that happens inside computers to make them work. The only part that I do understand is the pretty lights. <laughs> It has a little LED screen for your digital boyfriends. <laughs> oh. mm. Okay. Well, anyway, cool. I look forward. I look forward to seeing it come home. Oof, but not the headache of having to transfer everything over to OBS. We're both gonna have to like remake our OBS systems. That's gonna be a pain in the dick. I'm shrinking myself. I'm shrinking. I'm shrinking. I'm growing. And now we're fine. Oh, God. Okay, let's get back to this boring ass story. <laughs> let's get back to this boring ass story. I don't even know this one. Blake's study, a large southwest chamber, overlooked the front garden on one side, while its west windows, before one of which he had his desk, faced off from the brow of the hill and commanded a splendid view of the lower town's outspread roofs and of the mystical sunsets that flamed behind them. 
on the far horizon the, where the were the open countryside's purple slopes. Against these, some two miles away, rose the spectral hump of Federal Hill, bristling with huddled roofs and steeples whose remote outlines wavered mysteriously, taking fantastic forms as the smoke of the city swirled up and enmeshed them. Blake had a curious sense that he was looking upon some unknown, ethereal world, which might or might not vanish in a dream if he ever tried to seek it out or enter it in person. Having sent home for most of his books, Blake bought some antique furniture suitable to his quarters and settled down to write and paint, living alone, and attending to the simple housework himself. His studio was in a north attic room where the panes of the monitor roof furnished, admir ugh, furnished admirable lighting. During that first winter, he produced five of his best-known stories, The Burrower Beneath, The Stairs in the Crypt, Sh Shagai, <laughs> Shagai, <laughs> Shagai, uh, oh, wait, oh, wait. I need to look at the chat. Redeems are happening. Someone redeemed the tentacle. <laughs> Someone redeemed the knife-wielding tentacle. Gotta drive. Have a nice stream, Dunny. Have a safe... Hey, drive safe. Drive safe. Get to your location safely. Drive safe. Be safe. I love you. Take care. Uh, I also see all these other redeems. I'll take... I'll take drinkos. I'll take two drinkos. Mmm. That's a knife. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> why would, why would Nile do this to us? <laughs> why would Nile summon the summon the knife wielding tentacle? Now I have to now I have to dodge it. Uh, 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 yeah, we already did this bit. <laughs> we already did this joke. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's in your hand? A knife! No! <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Hold on. I'm pondering something. I'm think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about some. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> Why are you crying? Um. Hmm. 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 Ha. 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 I'm pondering. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Been a little while since since I read some Lovecraft, right? Been a little while. It's feeling it's feeling a little dry. It's feeling a little dry. We had you know we had a good time with that first story, but I am pondering. I'm pondering if I want to do something else for the latter, for the last like 45 minutes of stream. Does anyone have any qualms if I wanted to switch to something else? If I wanted to do something else, if you don't want to do something else, too bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, no sleep. Sto oh, no sleep stories. Oh, that's a perfect, that's a perfect backup plan. Because I don't know. I, you know, I gotta be real with you. All the talking we were doing about, like, whether or not Lovecraft was actually, like, a, a decent writer and, like, all of his, like, casual racism that he, like, weaves into the story itself kind of makes, kind of, kind of started making me feel like, eh, I don't know, there's better things we could, there's probably better things we could do. I like it, but that's because I've played a porn game based on this story. <laughs> Holy, damn, <laughs> damn, that's specific. <laughs> well, I mean, it is called The Haunter in the Dark, so, like, you know, you know, that could be, maybe The Haunter's hot. They un they unleash the Eldritch Force, oh, oh my. Oh dear, that's a sentence that has been said. <laughs> boy, that's, oh boy, that's something. <laughs> that's a thing you were just saying right now. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. So I don't know. No sleep. No sleep is a good option. Um, <laughs> I need to learn to shut up. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, but let me let me check my books off. Let me check my books off. I'm I'm having I'm having feels. I'm having I'm having feel feels. I'm having feely feels. I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm having other thoughts. I don't know if I'm gonna do something else. 
Na 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 balls. Um, what do I have? What do I have? What do I, what do I have? What do I fucking have? What do I goddamn fucking ass butt have? Um, do I have something that's not quite as dry? Something we can do relatively quickly. I'm away from I'm away from the chat right now, so you guys you guys could all be talking about it, good damn anything, and I wouldn't know what it is. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm pondering, I'm thinking. Oh, you know what? You know what I have? You know what I have here? Hmm. I want more Grinch, Tony. The top. Oh God. Talking about talking about starting a riot. The feely feels that feel feely. Have you considered, Seti? You really want me to play theater rhythm, don't you? You want me to play. You want me to play theater rhythm so bad. <laughs> I mean, I would play it, but I'm not going to play it right now. I'd rather listen to Godzilla X Mothman slash. I wonder. I wonder. Um, let me think. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm having so many thinky thoughts. <laughs> Godzilla X Godzilla sized Mothman. <laughs> just Mothra with legs. Sorry, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just like derailing the stream completely. I just like... I just hit a wall with, like, how dry Lovecraft is to read. And I'm just like, man, I don't I don't know if I want to keep doing this. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to keep going or not. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 I went to the library recently. What do I have? What do I have? I have so much crap in here. I have so much dumb bullshit that I picked up from the library. <laughs> okay, hey, how about this? <laughs> um, <laughs> what if the PA Mothman would godzi? Okay. 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 Um, let's head. Okay. So I'm back here. <laughs> his writing is as dry as his sex life. <laughs> Get dunked on you old weirdo. Okay. So you know what I have, you know what I have here that might be good for an absolute, uh, just a giggle, a fucking goober gaff, a fucking ghibli goobly. Um, Uh, let me, hold on, let me find it. Uh, can I find a picture of it? Yeah, there it is. Why is the, why is the picture, like, so fucking huge? I don't need it, I don't need it that big. Uh, what's it, hold on, what's it called? I have a plan, I have an idea. Nobody go anywhere. Nobody go fucking anywhere. <laughs> I have, I have such a, I have such a good idea. I just have to set it up. I have such a I have such a good idea. I have 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 a good idea, but I need to find just like the one I just need one goddamn picture. I just need a picture of the book. D fine, this will do. It doesn't matter. Chat Chat, you know what I have? You know what I have? You know what I got from the library that might actually be really funny? Just just as like a, a little goofy a little a little goofy bit. Properties. Wayside, you have Wayside. I do not have Wayside, but I'll keep that in mind. I have a Spider-Man novel. <laughs> I have a Spider-Man novel. <laughs> and this was the only picture <laughs> this is the only picture I could fucking find of the cover. <laughs> <laughs> a novel of the game. Yeah, this is like a prequel novel to the game. 
I don't know. I don't know why it's a picture of a hand holding the book, but for some reason that's what it is. I actually, for the life of me, cannot find like just a regular ass picture of the of the um of just like the cover of the fucking book. So we're rolling with that. So we're just gonna use that. Um, let's see. Hell yeah, I'm excited. Hell yeah. We can roll with this. This can, we can, we're deaf. This is not going to be something that we like read through all of, but we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what kind of trouble, because this is not the only Spider-Man novel I have. I have one that was written in like the early nineties about like Spider-Man going to Louisiana to, to fight like the lizard in like the swamp. You could have taken a picture. How about, how about you take a picture of these nuts? <laughs> How about you shut the fuck up and not give me solid advice that would make more sense than what I just did? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Spider-Man. I'm gonna call... I'm, I'm calling this stream Spider-Man. Spider-Man big. Spider-Man book. That's what we're calling the stream now, Spotterman. <laughs> Keep the nuts to only blobs. <laughs> to only blobs. <laughs> Sorry, that took me a second. I was like, <laughs> only blobs. All right, you guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys, cool with this? You guys, you guys, all right with this? Hold on, I'm gonna kill the. Um... Oh, I haven't. I wasn't even playing any ambience for a little while. Whatever, I don't fucking care. You don't look, you people don't come to this stream for good quality and like professionalism. You come here for the fucking scuff. That's what you're here for. You're here <laughs> you're here for the scuff and don't try to deny it. All right. <laughs> Let's see what Spider-Man has to offer, yeah. You do <laughs> You do good quality stuff 70% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> the other 30% of the time you go fucking wild. This is true. This is this is unfortunately very true. <laughs> that tends to be how the stream goes. I just use books as a jumping off point. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm already I'm already fucking giggling at this. Oh, <clears throat> so this is chapter this is chapter 1. I'm not here for the scuff. I'm here for Dunny being himself. Thank you. Thank you. I genuinely appreciate that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being a little, I'm just being a little guy. I'm just being a little guy. I'm just being a guy on the end. I'm just being a little fucking, I'm just being a little fucking guy. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being, I'm just being a funny little guy on the internet. That's just me. This is what I'm doing. I'm just, I just get on the internet and I start doing some shit and sometimes stuff happens and it just, it just goes where it goes. Anyway. <laughs> New York City had everything, and that was usually a plus, but not so much when that something was a snake store. <laughs> why, why, why is it open like this? Why is that the first line? Why is that the first line of the fucking Spider-Man novel? <laughs> New York City had everything, that was usually a plus, but not so much when that something was a snake store. Or was it still a plus? Maybe the weird, gross, and possibly dangerous implications of a shop dedicated to limbless reptiles embodied everything he loved about this city. Spider-Man used as he swung through the open second-story window. <laughs> He'd planned to land on the floor, but it was already occupied. So at the last moment, he performed an in-air flip and clung to the ceiling, staring down at the dozens of hissing, slithering creatures. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go. He'd set up his computer to monitor emergency channels and then alert him when they picked up anything where he might make a difference. Fires, robberies, and the all-too-frequent appearance of villains doing super bad things. He'd also played with the coding to catch anything that might be, well, amusing. It was Saturday night, and his girlfriend, Mary Jane, was off doing something she didn't want to tell him about, and he'd wanted to be diverted to snake <laughs> diverted so snakes 
He'd chosen snakes, and he'd gotten snakes. There was a lesson in there somewhere, he thought. Maybe that when life gives you options, it's best to choose more carefully. In perfect New York style, Steve's Serpent Storehouse wasn't just a small curbside shop he could scan with a simple glance. It was located in an old, narrow, multi-floored brownstone, with each of its many rooms dedicated to a different variety of reptile. Venomous, non-venomous, constricting, all your slithery needs in a single location. <laughs> hey now, come on, everybody, now come on down. I want to, how about you come on, I'll come on down to Serpent Steve's Serpent Warehouse. Welcome to the Snake Zoo. You come on down. We got venomous, we got non-venomous, we got constricting, we got non-constricting, we got limbless lizards, we got limbed snakes, we got everything you could possibly want down here at Steve's Serpent Storehouse, where you can get no money down on the latest boa constrictor, and you can, you can, you can walk up and you can just pat it on its little head. If you ever looked like a python? on like, like right into the face they're damn cute i can tell you what just don't bring your three-year-old right too close to the bars because you know that, that we have one his name is big larry he does not understand the difference between a child and a hog and he will just go hand down on the madness is settling in the madness is coming the the love the reading lovecraft has given me madness i've i've developed the madness i'm dying I'm dying of insanity. It's happening. Please. Please help me. Anyway. <laughs> oh, a true convenience for the busy snake shopper. And for the busy snake thief, if that was what he was dealing with here. He was beginning to wonder. All the cages had been smashed, and while some of the animals might have been collected, he couldn't tell for sure. To add to the confusion, he was starting to get a headache from the smell. Who knew that snakes even had a smell? They 100% do. I know this because when I was a kid, my dad kept two snakes and a few lizards. Yes, they 100% have a smell. <laughs> Whoa, madness be upon ye. <clears throat> then he saw it, a shadow in the hallway outside the room. A person crouched low, holding something in his hand. Maybe a sack, which, under the circumstances, would likely be a sack full of snakes. The figure moved just enough that Spider-Man could get a better view in the light from the outside window. I am not going to be able to take this fucking seriously whenever they keep saying Spider-Man. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're being raided! Oh my god! It's a raid! I don't know why I'm making all these noises. You've caught me. You've caught me in the last hour of stream where I start to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> oh, but welcome in! Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, BBB. My good friend, Books, Booze, and Booze. Books, Booze, and Booze. I greatly, I greatly appreciate you bringing your community over. Uh, for those of you who are unaware of me, I am the Dunwich Sandwich, a.k.a. Dunny. I like to do reads. I do live read streams. Uh, they come with a lot of commentary and silliness and me getting derailed very frequently <laughs> i was telling everyone how you can turn my crappy mood right around oh oh gosh oh golly oh golly 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 gee oh it's so nice of you uh but yeah so i've um i'm also this is all kind of like this is all kind of like i revised my character in the set recently so this is kind of the first day I'm using uh, some new assets uh, for the stream, but everything you see here I drew myself. Well, okay, maybe other than this, <laughs> maybe other than this thing, <laughs> I didn't draw this. <laughs> That's just there. Uh, oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the the beast under my the beast under the bed the beast under the bed welcomes you. The monster under the bed <laughs> the monster under the bed welcomes you. <laughs> Did you all notice the Kraken tentacles? Hey. How about a knife wielding tentacle? How about that? Oh, I pulled it up. I pulled it up right as Machine Elves redeemed it. So that's good timing. Machine Elves, we had the same idea. Can we get a shout out? A shout out copy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do that. Let me let me give let me give um let me give uh BBB a shout out as well. Let's see. Shout out to. Books, brews, uh, and booze. Boop. There we 
we go. Books, brews, and booze. Very, very delightful. Very charming. Very chill. They they do they do live reading as well. They're very nice. They uh, I believe they I believe they do stuff mostly like like in person, like like with a camera at them. So it's it's very much like you're having a nice little story time. Other th- <laughs> which is very different from me, where you come here. And you see the absolute scuff. <laughs> this is you're watching a, a cartoon blob man go absolutely ham. <laughs> uh, but yes, <clears throat> thank you for the raid. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for bringing everybody over. I greatly appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. We were we were reading Lovecraft, Lovecraft initially, but as anybody who's well versed in uh, in old timey fiction. Sometimes stuff gets real dry and it gets a little hard to want to like push past that wall. You know what I mean? So I, I have this Spider-Man video game prequel novel that I got from the library. So we're spending the last hour with that and I'm already kind of losing my mind with how silly it is just in concept. <clears throat> Happy hunt. Oh my God. Wait, really? Really? Do we really have like a hundred follows now? like for like for real for real i want to i want to see i want to see that's but uh, 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 oh my god let's all go to let's all go to the snake store let's all go to the snake store let's all go to the snake store and get ourselves some snakes let's all go to the snake store let's all go to the snake store Let's all go to the snake store. Holy shit, I have a hundred follows. God, oh my, oh, oh my good golly, goddamn gracious. Holy shit, that's actually amazing. That's actually fuck. that is, oh my god. That is, hold on a second. 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 <laughs> hold on a second. 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 Uh, no, I need I need it to be royalty free. No. Not that. Not that one. Royalty free. Royalty free. No. Inspirational music. Royalty free. <laughs> YouTube. Time is running out on my ability to be funny right now. Come on. Oh, you, you bastard. Oh, wait, no, here we go. There we go. That's the shit. <laughs> Dunwich.vxe, it stopped working. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I go for five. I go for five minutes. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. Well, hold on a second. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on, I stopped functioning. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're all just gonna look at my OBS. <laughs> oh man, I just, I, I just like don't know how to feel right now. Because like, what I started doing this like, like last year. And like, I just never thought, I never thought I would get like to 50, let alone a hundred. So like, this is, this is wild to me. Oh, hold on. I see the hydrate. Hold up. Gasp showing us your OBS. <laughs> yeah, look at my, look at my, look at the dirty guts of my OBS. <laughs> you, you look at my dirty guts. Oh. Think <laughs> OBS is like a co-host, yeah, pretty much. Oh, I adore you. That the, the dumb wish sandwich. Oh, God, thank you, thank you guys. It's that's so fucking cool. It's so cool that it's so cool that people want to come and just like listen to me fucking lose my mind. <clears throat> oh, I have to look back and see all your dancing emotes. There's so many dancey emotes celebrating. Holy shit. Oh, I should draw something later. I should draw something later to commemorate this occasion. 
you know what? But for now, second knife wielding tentacle. <laughs> That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> now they're now they're dueling. This is the entertainment that I am bringing for you. Okay, silence the inspirational music. That always that inspiration music inspirational music says copyright free. But every time I put it on YouTube, they're like, yeah, this sounds like copyrighted music. But don't worry, we're not gonna strike you or anything. And I'll just be like, all right, fine. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, all right. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna put away the sen I'm gonna put away the second tentacle. I'm putting my tentacle away. So I think we'll probably go. Ahead let's go ahead and hop back into it. Let's get back into. Let's get back into Spiderman. We got to get back to JP Spiderman, Spider Attorney at Law. <laughs> Uh, but once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for the raid, for all the follows, uh, for the bits. I think, I think, Galaxy, was that you? I think that was you who did that, which, thank you very much. Uh, yep, yep. And then for the redeems and all that, oh, sorry, I'm just catching up. This was the most wholesome portion of the stream until you mentioned putting your tentacle away. <laughs> Book, bookish Twitch is ascending. <laughs> uh, now, are they a spider attorney or do they have an attorney for spiders? Yes. <laughs> All right, so Spider-Man's trying to stop a, 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 a thievery at the snake store. And that's literally, that is that is quite literally what's happened. <laughs> We're two pages into this, and it's Spider-Man trying to stop a robbery at a snake store. Oh boy, okay. <clears throat> I gotta calm down. <laughs> I'm overstimulated. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to the snake store. <laughs> well, if you're good, then maybe after stream. <laughs> Oh, okay. <clears throat> then he saw it, a shadow in the hallway outside the room. A person crouched low, holding something in his hand. Maybe a sack, which, under the circumstances, would likely be a sack full of snakes. The figure moved just enough that Spider-Man could get a better view in the light from the outside window. The shadow's head jerked around. Then he dashed into the hall. Spider-Man pushed himself off of the ceiling and clung to the door jamb. There was no way he was touching the floor. He peered into the hallway and saw the snake thief running upstairs. Who tries to get away by going up? Someone with a well-thought-out plan or someone with no plan at all? Spider-Man grinned under his mask. <laughs> it's just the it's just like the inherent absurdity of reading a reading like a thick ass book and they're just going to keep saying something like like ooh and then Spider-Man grinned under his mask. <laughs> Uh, when are we gonna get to the snake store? Who steals snakes? Sneef. The sne oh my god, it's the sneef. The sneak thief, it's the sneef. We gotta fuck, we gotta fucking get him. We gotta catch the fucking sneef. <clears throat> uh, the chase was on. His real name was Peter Parker. Parker? P Peter, 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 Peter. His real name was Peter Parker, and eight years ago, he'd been bitten by a radioactive spider. Only <laughs> only in New York, right? <laughs> it's fucking only in New York. Literally says that. I didn't ad-lib that line. <laughs> the encounter left Peter with abilities. <laughs> spider abilities. <laughs> Peter Park. <laughs> this is... The, hello, I am Peter Park, also known as Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I'm Peter Park. I love you, Margie Jan. Oh no, it's my arch nemesis, v Venom, Venom, or or the Grand Goblin. <laughs> it gave him spider abilities, you know, as opposed to man abilities. <laughs> I love the Mary Jane. Hello, oh, hello. Hello, I am Marjan. <laughs> I am Marjan. I love you, Peter Park. <laughs> I love you too, Marjan. Let us kiss. I am by myself, so I have no one to kiss, but... 
I love you, marriage, John. You are my favorite knife wielding tentacle. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm not even here. I've exited my body. My body is working on autopilot. My mouth is just saying words. I have, I have left, I have left myself from the astral plane. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's my arch nemesis, Bnom. <laughs> I love Goon Stacy. Uh, okay, Brr. he could leap incredible distances, cling to almost any surface, and sense when something threatened him, allowing him to leap, dodge, roll, or twist his way out of dangers others might not notice. We assume that you've never heard of Spider-Man before, and we have to tell you these things. <laughs> because... <laughs> You know, we assume you've been living under a rock and you don't know how Spider-Man works. <laughs> Every episode is episode one. God, you're fucking right. Uh, anyway. <laughs> While the spider bite had enhanced his body, giving him enhanced strength, stamina, reflexes, and a huge throbbing I mean, uh, uh, uh reflexes, Spider-Man had done the rest. He designed his now iconic red and blue suit, which offered animidity, protection, and comfort. Who is Ritz? So this is there's two there's two raids in one two raids in one day two raids two raids two of them two of them there's two of them there are two of them two of them two of them. Thank you, <laughs> thank thank you thank you Cosmic, thank you very much for the raid. Thank you thank you for bringing thank you for bringing your friends. Thank you for bringing your community <laughs> two big raids. And they bust on my face. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. I, I swear to God, reading like Lovecraft for an hour has given me the legitimate madness. And now we're just going insane. We're firmly into the mad. We are firmly into the madness. I think that's called something else. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, he designed his now iconic red and blue suit, which offered anonymity, protection, and comfort, all while making him look cool. If he did so, say say so himself. Oh, good. Then the Lovecraft is winning. Oh God, no. You're right. I love the new model. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um. Uh, do I still have? Do I still have the picture up? I do. Um, so I, I, so like there was, the, so it's a character from, so like, I just saw a character design recently that had this hat design, like the hat in the face. And I just really liked that. And I was like, I want that for me. <laughs> you are the ants on the motherboard. <laughs> oh God. I'm glimpsing the, I'm glimpsing the realities beyond my comprehension. But yeah, so that's kind of the full body. I have I have thoughts and plans for the future. Uh but for now, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's it's based on the I wonder, do I still uh I could probably look it up. Uh, uh, uh. Mad Mad Hog. Madhouse Mike. Yeah, there's a character from a game called Cryptid Crush. Yeah, there it is. No, not that. Uh, open link in the tab. No, not the link. I want the picture. Show me the picture. Open image. So like this face, like the way the face is drawn and like the hat and the shade, I really liked this and I wanted to incorporate it into my character because I just, I just thought this was fucking sick. I, I was and I just really love this overall like concept of like the ghost character safe search Dunny was something not safe there was something not safe why am I immediately looking to find anything not safe I think safe search is yeah safe search is on it's fine but what if but what if it wasn't fine <laughs> what if I did look for things that aren't fine Anyway, <laughs> there better not have been something there that I wasn't seeing or else I'm going to be very scared <laughs> or else I'm going to I could be in trouble. 
This is not OSHA approved. Fun fact, if you watch my stream, you are now OSHA approved to drive a forklift. This is this is legal and binding. If you watch my streams all the way through, you are now forklift certified. Don't bother looking it up because I'm right. <laughs> and if anyone tells you it's not right, they're lying. It's part of a test. They're testing you <laughs> to make sure you truly deserve being forklift certified. <laughs> uh Oh, oh, wow. What an honor. Time to drive my forklift over this, this deep mud. Do it. Do it. It works. Try it. I did it once. <laughs> I did it once and look at me now. Oh boy, I'm going to go drive one now, Galaxy. You have a good fucking time. <laughs> you drive that forklift better than anyone else. Oh, I need, I got to calm down. <laughs> I got to fucking calm down. Mm. I'm stuck. That's okay. That's supposed to happen. That's it says it in the rules. You get it stuck. That's what it does. Now you go find another one and you go drive that one into the deep mud. That's that's very short lived experience. <laughs> Fork. <laughs> it's on the certificate. It's on the certificate. It says it right there. <laughs> My forklift sent my forklift sank like really deep. Oh man. Sounds like you should get more forklifts and just keep driving them into the deep mud until it creates a stack of forklifts. That way you can then get over the mud pit in the last forklift. See, this is this is the kind of galaxy brain level thinking that we do here. <laughs> here on this stream. <laughs> The mud is very high. See, that's what you just got to just keep driving forklifts into it. You just got to keep doing it. You just got to keep doing it and it'll get better. Hey, chat. If 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 what you're if you're doing, if you're doing something that you think may not be healthy or may not be smart, just do it like 10 times more over and everything will be fine. <laughs> just keep doing it wrong and eventually it'll work. You can, you can take it from me. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just very low? <laughs> I went to the forklift store and they got mad at me. See, that's, see, okay, the forklift store, the forklift store are all crooks. They're, they're just awful people. That's why you got to break in. You got to break in after dark and then you got to steal the forklift. That's the way it's done. They won't, they, don't worry, they won't try to catch you. Big Forklift is a heartless corporation and it's okay to steal forklifts. What in the fucking world am I talking about? <laughs> Where the fuck is this going? <laughs> this was, this was a functional stream at some point where I was doing something. <laughs> and now we're, now we're in this, now we're in this imagine, fuck, I just fucking smashed my foot. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh the madness is oh the madness is the madness is so present the madness is so fucking present right now it's absolutely wild <sighs> streamer i need a forklift certification mine sank in the mud <sighs> that's okay you're just gonna you'll just have to watch another stream You'll have to watch another another stream here at twitch dot twitch dot uh the Dunwich Sandwich TV dot com dot incorporated dot org Esquire the third do, 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 do. <laughs> it's finally happened. I've lost my mind. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Look, we gotta get back. We gotta get back to fucking Spider Man. Spider Man's waiting for us. Um. He designed web shooters, which helped to. Oh. <laughs> Man, this Spider Man book is so cool and interesting. Man. You really think we don't read books here? <laughs> we don't fucking so we don't read here, sir. <laughs> we we start reading and then we shit post for two hours. 
<laughs> we just verbally do fucking nonsense at each other <laughs> between me and the chat. It just becomes a fucking war. <laughs> we we make food here, sir. <laughs> I'm Squidward. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Books Dunny can read. Warrior cats. Usually. <laughs> Bonkles. God, the fucking Bonkle stream. The Bionicle, the Bionicle novel stream, like, that, that caused psychic damage to me, but it was really fun. <laughs> I just kept calling it Bonkles, because I was like, that's what it is, it's Bonkles. It's just fucking Bonkles. <clears throat> Ugh, Okay. Uh, he designed web, sh he designed web shooters. Uh, wait, fuck. He designed web shooters. That's it. That's the rest of the book. There's no pages after that. He designed web shooters, which helped him to propel himself across the city and enable him to snare victims. <laughs> Clint, what did you fucking do? What did you goddamn ass fucking do? What did you fucking clip? <laughs> That's finally happened. I've lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's Oh, that's the perfect that's the perfect encapsulation of where this stream starts to go after the three hour mark. Uh Knife wheeling, go, no, no, I don't want to, go away. Everybody leave, leave me. Leave me to the inner machinations of my mind. Uh, <clears throat> I do really like how it said, okay, so it says, he designed web shooters which helped to propel him across the city and enabled him to snare victims. Why is it written that way? Why is it victims? Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. But why is it victims? <laughs> why does... Spider-Man isn't someone that I imagine having victims, exactly. <laughs> Sp that Spider-Man is a menace! <laughs> I need pictures! Pictures of Spider-Man! I need pictures of Spider-Man, specifically from behind! Zoomed up, directly on his rear end! I need them on my desk by tonight! <laughs> Don't ask me what I need them for! <laughs> JJ wrote this. JJ wrote this. <laughs> and then he uses them to snare his victims. Ugh. Peter had, uh, Peter had always loved science, inventing and tinkering, practically from the time he started crawling. In the traditional sense. And, oh, excuse me, sorry, I'm burping now. <laughs> Parker! Parker! Parker, I need... Parker, I need pictures of Spider-Man's taint! Parker, I want pictures of Spider-Man's gooch on my desk by Friday! And make that Thursday! Understood? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Peter loves tinkering. <laughs> nope, he snares victims and leaving them hanging. <laughs> but how do- but- but how do I get those pictures, JJ? I don't care! Get me pictures of Spider-Man's cock and balls! Get, I want pictures! Pictures of Spider-Man's hot bussy! I need it for the front page! <laughs> Parker! Parker! Parker, ask him for a striptease right now! Bring Spider-Man to my office right now! I want him here! I want those cheeks spread! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is getting so fucking foul. <laughs> Parker! Parker, I want that spussy spread out on my desk, e Spread Eagle, by Friday. <laughs> Parker. Parker, I have shoes with mirrors on them. You know what to do. <laughs> Fuck, I'm dying. I'm fucking dying. Oh. Oh, but Mr. Jameson, Mr. Jameson, sir, that sounds like bad. <laughs> Parker, I need an under Parker, I need an undershot of Spider-Man's gooch. 
Uh, oh my god. Oh. Peter had always loved science, inventing and tinkering, practically from the time he started crawling, in the traditional sense, and while it helped him chase shadows up a narrow and twisting stairway, life was more than the endless glamour of catching snake thieves. In his day job, he worked in a laboratory, which allowed him to focus on his mental skills and challenging an important research that, in its own way, made a difference. Though exciting, uh, it was way more than a 40-hour-a-week job. So Peter had to, have, had to find time to be Spider-Man. More than a desire, it was a responsibility, and he dedicated every minute he could to helping his city any way he could. He stopped bank robbers and carjackers and muggers. <clears throat> <laughs> and yet they don't fucking pay him. <laughs> Not me perishing immediately. <laughs> We're normal. Our boy has to... Our boy Peter has to work three goddamn jobs and he doesn't get paid enough for either for any of them. <laughs> Ugh. Rescued people trapped in collapsing buildings and rushed victims to the hospital. He also seemed to be spending more of his time facing guys who wore suits and possessed their own unique abilities. Criminals like the Rhino, the Scorpion, the Lizard, Shocker, Electro, and the lesser known Gooch Master, who nobody really wanted to get close to, <laughs> given his name. They don't even know what he does. They just know they don't want to know. <laughs> the Shock Master. And Tony Stark, Tony Stark won't give Spider-Man a fucking allowance, even though he fucking needs it. <laughs> <clears throat> give my boy money. The list went on and on. It seemed as if there were more of these quote-unquote supervillains every day. They, like Peter, had been granted powers by chance, fate, or design. But unlike Peter, they didn't choose to use those powers to help others. Someone had to keep them in check. That sometimes meant spectacular confrontations. Broken glass, brick, and concrete turned to powder, fire, electricity, explosions, and mayhem. <laughs> Somehow, he didn't think tackling the snake thief was going to be quite that dramatic. This was going to make for a funny story when he told MJ, the only person he'd trusted with his secret. No, this was shaping up to be a relatively uneventful night. Shouldn't think that, he told himself as he leapt up another flight of stairs too fast for the ordinary eye to follow. I might jinx myself. <clears throat> At least it's not like Batman where it's always Batman's fault those villains exist. Yeah, Spider-Man is just hanging out in New York. It's just Spider-Man's supervillains is just because he lives in New York. New York just makes shit like that happen. Meanwhile, Batman is just like, Ugh, I'm Batman. Ugh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do some Batman things. I'm gonna be Batman. Oh no! Oh no! I accident. Oh, I accidentally knocked this small-time gangster into a vat of popcorn oil, and now he's coming back, and he's the the popcorniner. He's the popcorniner, and he kills people by stuffing them with popcorn, and then popping them like a big popcorn bag. Oh my God! What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> D DC, you got an opening? Uh, I got ideas. Uh, uh, uh. The corn cobber. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> oh no, I dunked a man into clay and science, and now he's d malleable material man. <laughs> I, I draw. I, j I dropped a s I dropped a gangster into a vat of chemicals that gives him a permanent smile on his face. Now he's known as the the funny man. <laughs> My arch nemesis, the funny man. <laughs> the fu the funny man is my favorite DC villain. I'm about to go funny man mode. <laughs> I'm going funny, man. DC called. They said no. Well, then I guess I'm just going to have to make them see. The Joker? No, that name's stupid. He's called the funny man. <laughs> he's, called, he's called the fucking funny man, okay? He's called the fucking funny man. <laughs> <laughs> he's called the fucking...
fucking funny, man. Oh, uh, okay. Where's my Where's my fucking button? Okay, here we go. Uh Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> I'm home. You're home with our new son. Oh my god. Galaxy is home with our new son. He's gonna be bringing in our new son any minute. Our new, our brand new, our brand new PC that we could potentially use for both better streaming and 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 gay men. He's fucking fat. <laughs> He's fucking fat. Do you need help? Like legit. Like if you need help, I'll put up the BRB and I will come help you. My light up son. Yes, my light up son. My beautiful son with the little LED lights. Light up the sun. There is a computer that sounds really cool. It has some lights, and it's cool and great. And have you listened to the Power Men? They're a, they're a, they're is it Power Men? Proto Men. I think it's called the Proto Men. Whatever. They're a band that's they're a band that's based on Mega Man. Their second album fucking rips, and they have a song called Light Up the Night, and that's what I'm parodying right now. Anyway. Anyway. balls spider-man launched himself onto the fourth and topmost floor in time to see the thief dashing into a room at the end of the corridor the guy was fast not superpowers fast but definitely track star fast the ambient light was still bright up here and he caught his first glimpse of the thief probably not even 20 he had short hair dyed the color of a tennis ball and big brown eyes and the barest hint of a mustache his face was round and babyish though he might as well have been wearing a t-shirt that said I have no idea what I'm doing. That, I need that. I need a shirt that just says that. <laughs> I need a shirt that says that. I, that'd be perfect for every situation that I'm in. As the web slinger entered the room, the guy reached into an open tank and grabbed a snake, which he hurled at his pursuer. The thief had a good throw. This was a big snake, too. As thick as his arm and twice as long. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know what else you know what else is thick as an arm and twice as long <laughs> the joke is penis anyway <laughs> the joke is penis um oh i can hear i can hear him he's coming up the stairs he's coming up the stairs with our son He's coming up the stairs with our son. I can hear him. He's at the door. He's at the door. He's bringing in our son. He's bringing in our son. Are you okay? Oh my god! That's a big box! I could I could fit my whole butt in that box. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. I love you. Live, live slime reaction. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> do you need Do you need anything? Do you need assistance? No. I'm sorry. I'm quiet. I'm I'm watching. I'm watching my husband die like oh, right in front of me. <laughs> I'm watching him die like live in front of me on this on this Twitch dot Dunwich Sandwich TV dot com dot net. <laughs> he's perishing water he's dying he's perishing water ASMR water ASMR I'm gonna touch you well no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that never mind I was gonna touch your butt but then I remembered that you're like drinking a glass full on of water like you're just chugging it and I didn't want you to fucking choke on it and die <laughs> Don't T-po- He's fine, everybody. He just T-posed at me, so... He's doing okay. Sort of. He's doing a little dance. He's showing me his butt. Don't you point that thing at me. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, you know what? <clears throat> you know what? It has been a little over three- <laughs> Watching my glittery partner explode and die ASMR. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. You know what? <clears throat> uh, so we're past. We're a little past the three-hour mark, 
and I'm willing to bet that uh, my my wonderful, handsome, wonderful partner wants to play with his new toy. So I think we'll probably go ahead and we'll probably go ahead and put upstream. Um, I'm I'm glad you all enjoyed like the what three <laughs> three pages of Spider Man that we got through. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll probably go ahead and call it for now. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, this this is this was a bit of a ride in the latter half. <laughs> Boy, this was this was a thing. <laughs> Play with his new toy, uh, on stream. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by that. Subscribe to my only stars. <laughs> you have an only stars. I have an only blobs. <laughs> I learned so much. He has victim. Yeah, Spider Man has victims apparently. <laughs> apparently, Spider Man thinks of webbing up dudes as victims. He's gonna suck out their man juices to nourish himself. I I should not have said man juices. That's that was that was awful and bad. I got your man juice here, Grant. <laughs> I got your man juice right here. We you want your man juice? You come down to Steve's Reptile Emporium. We got tons. We got the man juices. We got the snake juices. You want some snake juice? We got the snake juice. This is a Christian stream. No, it's not. We passed that line. That box is enormous. I feel like a clown is going to jump out of it. Now you're gonna Can you imagine how freaked out we would be if it knocked back? I didn't say do it again. Don't cut. Well, you don't have to caress it either. Oh, for any. <laughs> I should really point out we are talking about the. Stop rubbing your butt on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the new computer we're talking about the new computer he just came home with we're not talking about anything lewd <laughs> it just occurred to me that if anyone was like just tuning in they'd be like man what the fuck are they what are they doing look spooky it's your replacement <laughs> it's our new child it's replacing you spooky <laughs> Wheeze, are you <laughs> The knock coming out of Dunny's blob mouth was too funny. Oh god. Okay, hold on a second. Let me let me survey and see if there's anyone uh I wanna try and go for a raid with. Um I dare you to raid Pat. I don't wanna raid Pat. Fine, Pat doesn't want you. Oh, we can see um Um I, let's see. I don't know, there's not too many people on that I personally know. Um and I... that's I only really like to raid people if I, like, know them to some degree. Let's see. Oh, we could do porcelain, mate. Nah. I don't wanna. Nah. Okay. You know what? I don't really see anybody I feel like raiding today, so I think we're probably just... We'll just... No raid. We're just gonna call it for today. <clears throat> so, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Everyone who stuck around from the raids, thank you. Everyone who followed, thank you so much. Everyone, everyone who came and supported, thank you so much for the hundred follows. Oh my God, we've that, that's a fucking benchmark. We are, we're making it in this crazy mixed up world. Oh, so I will see you all again next Tuesday. I don't know what we'll do. We'll do something. I'll announce it on Twitter. You will see. I'll probably have some more fun little little redeem toys to play with. Uh, so yeah, okay, all right, bye bye, bye bye, I love you, bye bye, 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 bye Knife fight, last minute knife fight, last minute, last minute knife fight, last minute knife fight, last minute, last minute knife fight, last minute knife fight. Oh my God, he's gonna kill me! No, don't leave! No, 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 save me!